Hello, everybody. I think I'm just about ready to get started. Welcome, Kurumi Wings. I apparently missed out on a whole bunch of follows since I've been out sick for a little bit. So let's get caught up on those before we jump into anything. So thank you, Ritzcracks, for the follow. You're wide open! J Mike for the follow. I think that's Takufly for the follow. The limited. Okay, for more familiar names. Bozart Man, Zumba, and Chills Ahoy for the follows. Quite a lot apparently happened while I was out. You're wide open! So yeah, I think today we're just going to I guess see the bad ending followed by the normal ending of the game. We're pretty much at the point where we could just choose it. Wide open! So let me make sure everything is turned on on my side and we'll get started. good there. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. You're wide open. We left off that kind of an awkward part with the game last time. I was not happy about one of the nerfs. You're wide open. I'm still not happy about the nerf to be honest with you. <laughs> like, like I was upset last time we played. Not gonna lie, I'm still upset but apparently there's been another update. So I'm not sure what the update is. Which is very weird because I checked yesterday and there was no update. <laughs> could you imagine if could you imagine if they actually patched it out? <laughs> Cause Cult of the Lamb for some reason is now updating. Very interesting. I mean we played it literally not even a week ago. I wonder what the update is. Well, I guess we'll find out, I guess. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Sorry about the delay. I <laughs> I can't say I saw that yesterday. So this must be very new. I don't even see it mentioned in the patch notes. So that literally must have just happened within the past couple of hours. Whatever they changed. Question mark. Well, I guess we'll find out together. Let's hop into the game proper. You're wide open. Oh, hold on a second. Are my PSO open. controls on? I heard my little screenshot clicker. That that lets me know my controls are not correct. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'd like to not You're take screenshots open. whenever I press the start button. Well, something updated with the game. It was apparently a big update or something uninstalled because it said 1.5 gigs. I don't know about you, Chad. That's not a small update to me. So I'm like, did they revert something? Open. I have no idea. But we're going to do our best, I suppose. You're wide open! Mm. I really hope they revert the... Uh, the changes to resurrection. That that before everything else is what I care about. Anyway, pet the chat since they're here. I like how Chris looks like he's seen things. Oh, that's right, he's catatonic. Oh, it happened to Chris. Now I recall. It feels like only yesterday I had a follower ruined by RNG. Where are my cooldowns at? Okay. I don't think I care about most of this. So I could get Sin, but I don't really need it to complete the game. So I'm not going to worry about that now. <laughs> I would like to have more Ritual of uh, Disciples used, but uh, they kind of ruined the character I was going to pick. So I guess we'll just go for the bad ending real quick. Don't mind me. Speaking of which... Alright, just making sure I'm signed in. It never, never hurts to check. Never be too sure. Well, I guess we'll just go straight for the bad ending. Wow, I am so lucky I got a revive. 
Wow, I was at 21 out of 20. We lost so many followers due to that zombie mechanic. I actually almost couldn't complete the game there. That was actually shockingly terrible. I mean, this would have been like an amazing thing to use, but I'm just gonna game over immediately. Just don't mind me. I was wondering why, I was like, am I in a cutscene? And I'm like, no, they just disabled rolling for some reason. I guess they wanted it to be very dramatic as you approach the cat. Vessel, I will relinquish, relinquish you from your service to the Red Crown. Return it to me and embrace the end that awaits. With this last sacrifice of my most devoted follower, I will be freed. Finally, I will be free! So we have never done this ending before, so this will actually be a first. Approach, Vessel, and lay your life down at my feet. Okay, let's see what happens if we actually obey. So we can see of all of our followers. Well, let's go embrace death, I guess. What's the worst that could happen? I like how it asks if I'm sure. Thank you for playing, Noble Disciple. Please spread the good word near and far so others may be blessed by the divine teaching of the Mighty Lamb. Oh, that didn't take very long. See, that chat already got the ending. <laughs> like how the credit is on, like, double speed. I'm trying to remember if it was that fast in the original. Honestly, I'm trying to recall. Cause that went through the credits real fast. I didn't even feel tempted to skip it this time. So now, it'll boot us back to the start screen, but I can just go back here. Yeah, I was worried that would actually like end the run <laughs> for the first time I played. And then I kind of forgot to do that the second time through. But anyway, we're back here. Hmm. West. Want to be your disciple? Um, sure. I guess I could do that now. I don't mind Weber being a disciple. Weber, Weber's a named character. He could be elevated into disciplehood. I definitely want most of Twitch chat to be there, but to be fair, if you come with a special ability, that puts you there. I'll let Twitch chat decide. We'll do that soon. Especially when it comes down to who gets elevated, I definitely want Twitch chat to choose that option. But for now, Weber does have the ability to no longer need food, so he's probably going to last a lot longer than most normal followers. I don't think I have anything pending here, unless I just want to get resurrected, which, honestly, I kind of don't. I'm not sure what the Disciple powers actually grant. Like, it told them that they're slightly better at their jobs, but it didn't really go into a lot of details. Re-educate dissenters and use special shrines. Yeah, I remember the special shrines. Okay, I guess that makes more sense. All of us hatched in the cult will be born with a high loyalty level. Okay. It's magnificent to see our leader preaching. Anyway, I should probably take some serious characters. Unfortunately, most of our people are dead or catatonic. Really sucks. So I could reindoctrinate a follower. I wish that would mean it would get rid. Like, I wish it would get rid of Chris's condition. I doubt it will. I might as well see if it does. Ah. No, 
it doesn't. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. You gotta you gotta test the boundaries of the patch. Oh uh, yeah, I'm harvesting Poet's Revenge. Sorry, Poet's Revenge. Hmm. What do we need to cure Chris exactly? Was it more crystals? Ugh. I guess I'll do one run just to cure Chris, because I would like him to be a disciple if he qualifies. We're gonna do that, and I'd like a day to pass anyway. Welcome, Peng. The fact they're all sick of dying is wonderful. I'd rather take over to render, at least I'll survive then. Be a dark overlord. Yeah. Well, welcome, Peng. Hope you're doing well. I got absolutely hosed by the new patch. I have to say, Peng, not not a fan of some of the balance changes. So we're gonna just do a quick run. And hopefully fix Chris's character. Surviving. Hopefully things improve a little more beyond surviving. Because Anchor Deep that has it right. Uh, they really hard nerfed revives to the point where I literally went down in survivors by reviving. It's like insane to me. I don't know what they were thinking. I can genuinely say our cult is worse off having me use the resurrection. Words that do, do not make sense. But alas, they are true. Oh, I got one of my least favorite spells. Cool. Okay. It's fun. Yeah. Oh. I like hitting the arrows back at them. That was cute. Need so many crystal shards. Yeah. I, same thoughts, Fang. That's why, uh, after I said at the end of the last stream. Oh, welcome, Josie. Hope you're doing well. Oh, lurking. No problem. Yeah. I, I I was so annoyed, Ping. I actually did write a Steam review, so it's on there. It's official. Been up since last stream. I got hit randomly. Unfortunate. So now, Ping, in order to cure a status ailment that was caused by resurrecting people, I now have to farm this area just so the character can do something again, which feels really terrible, as you can imagine. Food in my mouth, no worries. Everybody's got to eat. So yeah, not a fan of that gameplay loop. Hopefully they patch it out or really, really, really rework it. I don't think I would be so annoyed if Catatonic like wore off over time or if there are other ways to deal with zombies other than just area specific resources. Like, let's say there's, like, a bazaar, right, where I could just trade in money directly for area resources. I would still be annoyed, but I would tolerate it in its current state, I think, a lot better. As is, it's just not a good decision. Because they already nerfed coin gain as well. Like, you, like, which is fair. It was definitely very broken. But, like... I don't know. It's just one of those things where if they were going to nerf Resurrection, they should just force you to have Resurrection. You know, if, if they're worried that Funeral Rite wasn't being used, because it was terrible, and to be fair, it still is terrible. Uh, maybe don't make it a choice then. But we'll see, I suppose. Uh, I mostly just want to collect items and leave. I was going to say, Ping, did you want a character? I don't remember. I don't think you made a character. I can pick up a follower real quick. Receive challenge. Hello there, Crusader. We pass the next room without using curses, so I shall give you a gift worth using. But if you fail, and alas, not for you. Well, that's easy. I barely use curses on most weapons anyway. The only time I'm really curse dependent in this game is if I have a really terrible weapon. Which is ironic, because I'm about to go to a room that doesn't require it. But we'll see, I suppose. We worship you, Kalamar, in the hope that you find us worthy of good and health. Oh, excuse me, worthy of good health and long lives. Well, I guess that's going to be ironic how short-lived their life is about to be. Yeah, not using curses here kind of makes sense as a challenge. There's at least multiple waves. I could take damage, because I already got hurt in the dungeon, so it doesn't really matter. If it was don't take damage, that would be 
potentially very hard, depending on the weapon. Oh, I got tapped by a projectile right at the end. How unfortunate. Alright, so I got a good number of crystal shards. I'm gonna collect a few extra in case I need to revive somebody again. Yeah, it requiring 15 is really brutal. It means I basically just have to do a run every single time I'm going to revive somebody. Which is not a fun game mechanic. I really don't know what they were thinking. Uh, which chat's apparently deciding my fate. I unlocked Elephant. There we go. <laughs> she wanted to get the evil cat. Poor Fang. Not a spy is no longer ill. I do recall naming a character that. That's an easy way to find out who's the spy. I don't think I have what it takes to... Oh, I received a tarot card. Which one? Or did it glitch out? I don't see one. Unless it's gonna spawn in the next room. Question mark. I'm still a little injured, but not in a way that really matters. I don't think I'm going to fight Calamar. Oh, the game crashed? Are you kidding me? No, chat, no. Come on. No way. I wasn't doing anything. Are you serious? Wow. Oh boy, chat. That has never happened before. I just you all witnessed it. I was maybe maybe tried spawning the tarot card but couldn't. I mean, usually that that has come up before, but then again, they did just patch it as I said before right at the beginning of the stream. So, there there's your there's your QA testing, chat. I think you could do the the, the palm and the face. What are they doing? What did that do to my run, by the way? I, I'm assuming autosave has occurred. Do I have the crystals? If I have the crystals, I don't care. If I'm if I'm back at three crystals, I'm gonna be upset because that was I didn't want to do that run to begin with. I'm assuming it at least did here. Okay, time has passed. Do I have the crystals? Wow! Really? Really? Oh, come on, chat. Wow. Welcome, Steve. Wow. You can't make that up. Yeah, you're all witness. Go bear witness to the crash. It should be clipped for all eternity. Man, I gotta do this run again? I was like two rooms from completing, by the way, chat. I just needed to hit the other exit. I didn't want to fight the main boss. So unfair. Uh, curses are really strong in this run. Too bad my curse is terrible. Arguably the best way to handle curse would be a ritual that cures it. That's what I was saying, Ping. There should have just been like a real cheap alternative. Rain down a storm of hearts. Oh, that's kind of neat. There should have 100% been something to cure it via ritual. That was one of the alternatives I suggested. Like, if they're going to keep it, they need you to be able to either go to, like, a bazaar to trade in for the specific stuff. Or you need to be able to cure it in other ways. Whether the things are... Zombie sh probably shouldn't be temporary. But things like catatonic probably should be... You shouldn't be forced to have to go through a whole dungeon just so that you could get the character that you just spent a lot of resources on into a usable state. I just don't like that as a game design mechanic. Like, I just don't know how that passed. Like, what was the discussion at the table? Were people having too much fun? Like, I just... I Like, honestly, it's hard not to be, like, a bit sarcastic with it, but, like, why? Why add something that was like that, or not like that, after many years of release? So confusing. Welcome, Calvisham. 
I don't for my life, but it's not worth much to the gods. Well, apparently, the run wasn't worth much to the gods as the game crashed earlier. I mean, at least you get to see the difference of how overpowered Axe is still. Bear witness, chat. It is still, like, top two weapon. Yeah, like, in the first run... Yeah, and the other thing that I don't like, Ping, is they restricted the levels of followers. So instead of having your, like, level... 200 people or whatever, they just got rid of that entirely. So you cap at level 10 now, Ping. And you can imagine how much worse that is. Or like, especially when you're focusing on a small cult, how much less impactful they are. I can kind of understand why they wanted to do it from like a fleece standpoint. But then like, why didn't they just change the formula on demons? I don't know. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Anyway, I'm only half paying attention to the gameplay. I guess I should probably just kill them. I gotta collect the crystal shards again, and I might as well as collect 30, so I don't have to do this again. Yeah, and that's fine, but like, I think they should just rework it at that point. I wanna go to the mystery spot, but who knows. I guess I'll go pick up a follower in case somebody wants to hop in. I gotta get elephant again. No, rip elephant. Elephant gone from this world. I like that I even auto pick up items while slapping the ground like that. So unfair. Yeah, like, but like, what what did follower levels really impact ultimately, other than the demons? Like, did they have, like, a noticeable difference on the money-making one? Because they already nerfed that. It's already so much worse than it was originally. Uh, I think you're still alive somewhere, Steve. Unfortunately. It means I've been possessed. I can switch down. Yeah, and that's where I was saying, like, just nerf the demon scaling. Why remove, like, features that encourage you to keep characters around for a while? Other than apparently whoever is in the QA team really, really hates Resurrection. That's the only thing I can think of. They're trying to punish the people that don't resurrect, and they did it in, like, the worst possible way. Like, wouldn't the counterbalance to Resurrection, if the problem was Resurrection, to instead give a thing that increases all followers' lifespan for longer? I don't know. I just feel like if, if their problem with the game was funeral rites, that they should have just re they should just replace things. I don't care about environmental traps. I'm not going to buy most of these cards. I honestly just don't care. Let's go to the boss. Hopefully this time, I can go actually get the rewards that I need. I don't really want to fight the boss since my spell is terrible. If we had the thing that makes us invincible, I would go straight to the boss. No question. Oh. That was an opportunity for an upgrade, but sadly it was not meant to be. I could use so many curses right now. But alas, they're not useful. That feeling when curse filled, but bad powers. I mean, at least it does decent damage on minions, but I don't really need damage when you have axe. Take the crystal lamp, though. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. My my saltiness and bitterness aside, <laughs> the updates. Still not happy about it. Alright, we're almost at 30, so I can almost leave this dungeon. Hopefully we get to 30. Because inevitably I'm gonna revive somebody again, and I will be absolutely hosed if I don't have it. Am I gonna be at 29? That'll be such a sad number to be at. 
is not a very useful number. That is such a sad number to be at. Is there really not another room with crystals? What even is the alternate to rising? Oh, it's something terrible. I think it's like you bury people. The funeral rite. Nobody picks it. Just... It, it, is, it is not anywhere on the same scale as resurrection. I'll put it that way. You turn people to compost. Makes sense. Yeah... Like, I don't care if there's, like, an extra step to, right? Like, if you want to balance it so that you can't use early game resurrection, I'm okay with you offering buildings that also remove the downsides that are there as, like, a late game perk. But, like, there has to be something that prevents this gameplay cycle other than me doing what I'm doing currently. Damn, I got hit. How unfortunate. Yeah, the fact that I did like three spells there and it does no damage. Rip. Gone are the days of powerful curses, chat. They are so much worse. Except for the invincibility one. That one's actually OP. Sadly, we did not get the one that we lost earlier. Yeah, I'm not like a huge fan of the sin mechanic, but it doesn't feel like the game requires me to take it too. Alright, so I fixed some of my bone count, at least. Go back to the cult. So let's see if I can finally fix Chris. That is so sad that I have 28. So sad. Oh, there's Steve's character. Hmm. I don't think I really care about most of these. No. Yeah, it's kind of like in every playthrough, I have never bothered to build crypts. Do you know what I mean? Like, I have never built at any point in any of my playthroughs anything on the far left tree. <laughs> I'm like, let those dead bodies rot. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't care. Oh man, I don't think I need the harvest totem. I mean, I could get it, I guess. Whatever. Let's just finish the right side of the tree so I don't need to think about it anymore. There we go. Can I finally cure Chris? Please. Can I finally cure Chris? So he can actually do something. Yeah, because the crappy part ping is that when they're catatonic, you can't boost their stats at all, and they're just literally useless. So I couldn't make Chris a disciple because he was level 9 and he was catatonic, and there wasn't a way to level him. So it, it just feels like it's adding obstacles that don't really... They don't really add anything to the game other than frustration and annoyance. I hope Cleave is having fun over there. Oh, that's what the other ones do? Offer extra hearts? I guess it answers that question. I love Starving Cultist. Never change Starving Cultist. Also, they really need to get have like an auto grab of these resources. I should not need to do this. Just saying, chat. Uh, who's not max level? No, oh, we'll wake Steve up. Let's see what Steve's gonna confess. Blue hat, green hat. Oh, if he's thinking about other other cults, 
level Steve up though. We love Steve. There you go. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to build, if anything? Mostly just want to get upgrades on what we have. Oh, I don't have enough gold bars. Well, that's awkward. I'm going to make sure there's enough jobs for them to do. I have a million coins. So I should just do this. Mine get donkey call. Oh no. The betrayal. The only thing I'm going to do is make sure that we harvest the seeds. When they wake up, I'm going to go do things. Unless this counts as a new day. Can I do a sermon right now? Because I'll wake them up for that. Oh, I can. Okay, I'll wake them up for that. <laughs> That's worth doing because this is just free level ups for everybody, even if they hate me. I might as well just get an upgrade before the next boss. Um... Oh, I realize I unlocked everything I wanted. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate then. Um... Uh, I don't really like the curse unlocks here. I would have loved an ability to turn these off. I'm like, the only one, the only one I care about is invincibility. Everything else, like, no. No thanks. Skip that animation. We almost leveled again. Cool. We got somebody to level. So I can't do any more of those until we get to post game. That's okay. I disturbed everybody's sleep, but it's for good cause. Hmm. I think I need to do anything here in particular. So they're low on stone places and wood places? Or natural burial. A nice try. Perfect. Alright, so this other one was already a level two, so I might as well collect this. See, like we have a million stone. So if I just keep making consecrated material, I should be able to get a good profit from that later. <laughs> Nobody's in prison. They're happier now. Love it. I do probably need another lumber source, though, regardless. Then we'll move on. Get, like, right here. I'm so close to getting another level up here. Come on. You do it. A little more. Perfect. Alright, so let's just get this out of the way. So I have not unlocked basically any of the sin stuff. Not yet anyway. Black totem reward. Oh, thank you, chat. Let's see what chat unlocked for me. I appreciate followers or food, to be honest with you. We'll see, though. Oh, Twitch unlock. That's also good. Hi. Uh, you've unlocked mouse. Okay, so before we do another thing, let's see if we can get somebody in the cult. So I'm assuming somebody would like to join. Unrepentant and hedonist. They're really good at producing sin, apparently. Howard might run away if frightened. Well, if anybody has not made a character, we've unlocked a ton of forms. Hopefully there's something there for you. So we'll give participants, we'll say another courtesy 40 seconds or so. In case they want to hop in and make a character. Be a great opportunity to rehydrate. We have one participant, so it seems like the wait was worth it. We'll wait a little longer, though. Give a fair chance for people with stream delay to have a uh, chance to make a character. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I don't see anybody else saying that they're working on a character, so I'm going to close it in about five seconds. I think that was a fair wait. Let's see who we have here. Thinking about it. 
You feel it okay there? Hold the lamb. I promise you somebody has done something. Oh no. Oh no, chat. <laughs> Do I need to cancel the raffle and redo? Man, Cole the Lamb is not feeling well today, chat. I'm sick, Cole the Lamb is sick. What happened? We didn't have any issues last week with this. <laughs> right, chat? Like, do, do I just hit the B button? I mean, I'll give it a couple more seconds. Just in case it's waiting on somebody. I don't know what happened there. We'll try again. Sorry about that. Welcome, Kirk. Oh, you missed it, Kirk. We, uh, we crashed the game. And now this seems to be giving us some fits. You're already a cultist, so I'm set. So I'm so, I'm so sorry whoever entered. You might have to try again. Okay, I see somebody has entered. Let's try again. There we go. Josie has now made a character. Welcome, Josie. Let's see if I can accept that quest before it gets too late. Okay, what's the quest? Great leader, get everything I now I wish also get my life. Please sacrifice me. No. Listen, we have enough trouble with cultists to begin with. Death denied chat. Nope. <laughs> Not on my watch. Welcome, Promethean. Sure, let's go ahead and get a sermon out of the way. I might as well just unlock everything while we're here. Slightly improve the level of our cult. Alright, so we've now almost unlocked officially everything. So we're at the end of the game and there's only one more thing left to unlock. So we could let a day pass and just get it if we want to. I don't think that's needed. Oh, look at that. It stopped one short. That's so sad. Yeah, our faith does not matter here. Oh boy, dare I, dare I resurrect somebody with how bad it went last time? I guess I could try. Okay, who is the most recently, or who's been dead for a while? Justice Ferrado. Oh, Dusk has been dead for a while. Let's re revive Dusk. And of course he immediately comes back as a zombie. Man, chat, I am not liking the changes to revive. Can we, real talk? That is like every single revive has punished me. Is this character just gonna immediately kill somebody? Before I could reach this tent. Why do I even bother? Hi. Right. This is what we like to call obnoxious. So, you know what? If it's gonna do that kind of bullshit with me, give me a second. I can't believe I have to, like, reposition my buildings because of how bullshit that is. Like, I'm just gonna call it out for what it is, Chad. It's, it just simply is just unfair. Like, they're, like, what's the counterplay? I couldn't reach this building in time, so I lose a character. Cool. Um... Where do I put a character to deal with this? So I need the med bay here. Oh, I can put it here. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Even though that messes with how I like to put things. Because if we lose another character to resurrection again, I'm gonna lose my mind, chat. Really, really upsetting how terrible that's implemented. So sorry, Kirk, your character died because the game just chose for you to die. I don't know what to tell you. So we revived somebody that was okay. Uh, let me do one thing. I really don't like how these buildings are positioned now. What do I do about that, though? See, the problem is, like, I need to be able to get to this quickly, and it's like everything was exactly how I wanted it to be without it being in the way. So unfortunate. I don't even know where to put it, because that's in the way. Hmm. The building being here is okay. The temple should always be close because I have to visit that the most. I could technically move the offering statue over. Yeah, 
The demon circle I have to be able to reach quickly. The knuckle bones, arguably, I don't need to do anything. So I might just move it over here and put my other statues over here. They're all kind of right near each other. Yeah, like, I don't need the janitor station here. Do something like this. There we go. So that way all the shrines are kind of near each other. Clutter of the lamb, so many buildings. Well, Chris, we lost another one to zombie hood. Such BS. Oh, and it costs 20 to cure them. Wow. As chat can tell, I'm not happy. I guess I now have to go delay beating the game to deal with this again. Question mark. Yeah. How irritating. Welcome, Granny Knight. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna brainwash everybody. Since we have a million mushrooms. So I'm gonna go do the other run again, because collecting 29 in a run apparently is not enough to undo the problems of resurrection. We lost one of our best characters, which really, really sucks when all you want to do is beat the game. We, we keep losing our disciples over and over. It is painfully terrible. Well, I guess I'll let our cult, cult star for a day. Me when I wake up to arc, work on art and life throws me three inconvenient side quests at me. Yeah. It is really inconveniencing. I would just like to state. Uh, whatever, these cards kind of suck, but I'll deal with it. Well, welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, at least claw hitbox sometimes works. I don't know what this... Like, right now, the hitbox is broken. Can we agree? This hitbox does not make any sense. But it's not always like that, and I don't understand why it's not always like that. Is it like fixed versus enemies, but not fixed versus plants? I have no idea. Oh, chance to gain blue hearts? That's actually pretty powerful. Like, look at look at where I am when I'm ricocheting off of them. Like, it's actually insane. The hitbox makes no sense. Draw where you think that hitbox is, Chad. Go take a screenshot. <laughs> Try to predict where that hitbox is, because I'm telling you, there is nothing visually on the screen that tells me I should this hit that. Actual insanity. It's a shame I had to waste my extra heart on backtracking. Sorry to hear you're still kind of tired. Hopefully more rest will arrive in your day at some point, Chris. Oh, so this is just like the normal sword swing with a different the man, uh, theme to it. Okay. I like the hilarious amount of hearts I have right now. You can kind of tell when I get a good weapon versus a bad weapon by how many hearts I end up with. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I still don't have enough to go back, so I have to keep going. Um, guess I'll go to the mystery spot. Zoom body. I'm guessing this is a new thing, because I don't remember this room. Pick up. Lost message one. A torn letter stained with blood. Found a herd. Taken care of. Let the worm know I seek the next. Ah, uh, so I did hear they added lore into the game. So this is what it means. Okay. 
Makes sense. We now have new knowledge, chat. Congratulations, there's the Lord of the game. I am very tempted to go fight the boss right now and not bother, but I know I don't have enough uh, crystals, so I gotta keep going. <laughs> There's so many hearts. Yeah, definitely my ability to clear the boss even without demons. Pretty much guaranteed at this point. Yeah, the downside of the claw spam is if they flood the screen with projectiles, it's hard to do. Wait, are we seriously just not going to get any more crystal shards for the duration of this run? Is this happening, chat? Am I being max punished for revive? It's not just me, right, chat? We haven't picked one up in like eight rooms. Holy... Please give me something. Not quite what I meant. Uh, probably sword might be worth it. I'll just use the gun. You know what? I'll try the gun. I like that, it's up to five bullets now. Thank you for contributing to the totem chat. So on the plus side, we're unlocking a lot of de decorations. On the downside, they all require the material that I need, so I'm never going to build them. Enemies receive half, or receive double damage. Oh, they have half health. Never mind. Well, that means our gun is not that strong then. If they're receiving double and that's all this is doing. Because essentially, if, half, if they're half health, it's like they're taking double damage. So I'm, I'm gonna say I'm not that impressed with gun at the moment then. I go back and pick up our other weapon. Hmm, if I had a fervor build, that would have been amazing. But I'd rather have gun over daggers, if those are my options. We have almost every decoration unlocked before I could deal with zombie. Feels fair. Steve, could you go slip three rats in my basement? Oh no. The side questing continues. Why would I ever switch out what I have for that? On the plus side, I have like a million follower meat. Which I think is an interesting way to get around not wanting to kill your own followers. You just kill these. So like, that's an example of a mechanic of giving you access to resources if you don't want to follow the normal way of getting it. So like if you don't want to go murder happy on your cult, it's neat that there's an alternative to getting that in case you want to kill people by feeding them poison for example, but don't want to kill your own cult to do it. This is so sad, I think I actually have to keep going. Even though I probably should have been done with the game like 5 or 10 days ago at this rate. Okay, I can finally leave now if I want to. But at this rate, I'm just gonna full clear. Yeah, I might switch the weapon out since I'm trying to room clear. I didn't really think about that very well. There we go. We almost have enough to make up for doing what we did earlier. Which chat is apparently deciding my fate though. I mean, you can't really do worse than giving me zombies at this point, chat. <laughs> like, you, you, there's just nothing worse than that. I'm sorry. That is kind of the worst. Even like people leaving the 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 cult is not as bad as zombies. At least those characters don't kill my other cultists. 
Infused KFC is starving. Unfortunate for them. Hmm. I don't really like any of these abilities. I'm gonna keep going. Kinda hoping for a different weapon, but whatever. I have so much health, chat. <laughs> Unfortunately, I really need an invincibility one. Oh, actually, hammer could be fun. For sure. Uh, that's much easier to do that than with gun. Sorry, gun. Yeah, the free ghost is kind of interesting AoE for hammer. Not my like not my favorite or preferred one, but I'll take it. I'm just gonna destroy grass to kill every enemy here. Sounds about right. So we'll get another follower potential. Oh, hey, Bathe the Bulb. Oh, the hammer just took slightly too long. How unfortunate. Ooh, charge hammer is kind of interesting. But honestly, really not that much different than normal hammer. I like the idea of it, but that payoff is terrible. At least the spell can deal with projectiles, which is kind of neat. This erratic movement does make hammer a bit more awkward. So I could see like where sword would have an advantage over hammer. Oh, I thought he had more health. Whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Let's go forward. So we're gonna go in the next room. Let's go fight the other boss. I might as well as the, the game forced me to come here. I might as well just go fight the other boss. Build a little more meter before we do that. That's why I did leave some of these behind. I figure we have so much health, I might as well go for it. But I want to make sure we enter with full relic charge. There we go. Full health. I don't need to worry about that. Alright, let's go refight. I'm not going to get the flawless victory on this since my weapon setup is kind of bad with my spells. And my curse meter is pretty terrible. I would want to come in here with basically fool. Yeah, this is not a good weapon matchup, sadly. But, we do a lot of damage. If we had invincibility, this would be ultra free, for sure. But I gotta try a little more here, I guess. Wow, that did insane damage to him. Huh. Maybe I could have killed him. I mean, that did way more damage than I thought that would do. I mean, that did, like, what, 25% of his health? Just randomly? 
Well, there's we we got elephant back. Okay, the timeline is restored. We're back in the tele the elephant timeline. Wow, I only got 16 that entire run. That is terrible. It costs 20 to treat them, by the way. Yeah, we we crashed earlier, Chris. So I had I lost progress. And then we lost more progress by using revive again, because the game is actually trolling. Yeah. I'm too scared to revive people without having the other thing. My cult is starving. Um... I should at least feed them. Yeah, that seems about right. Also, before another day occurs, I shouldn't force everybody in ritual. This should just be an instant level up for me. That's officially everything unlocked. <laughs> Maybe to update that review, I might say that it's off locked. That was certainly something. I mean, there's no reason to not bring the police of fates into the boss fight, because it's just free cards. I know the cult is starving, but I also just produced like a million food things. Are they seriously not gonna go eat because they're tired? I really hope they don't die, even though I just made food. That would also be a really dumb way to lose cultists. I'll make a couple more meals, just in case. Oh, you know what I could also do to ensure that they don't die? Since they don't care if they're woken up. I could just feed them. There, this should prevent a death. In case they're stupid and they sleep to die. <laughs> just, just in case, Chad. I, I don't have faith in the game. We're just gonna make sure that all the characters eat and they don't complain anymore. Oh, it's gonna bother me, because every time I think I'm unlocking something new, and I'm like, I actually just don't care about those. Uh, so... Wait, hold on. They just had food, but then they eat anyway? That kind of sucks. They should probably not be allowed to do that. <laughs> right, chat? Hmm. I don't know about that. Whatever. At least the other person is still cute to make meals. Oh, that reminds me. Could bring somebody back, chat. Let's get a lot of coins to make up for the nonsense we went through. You know what, chat? We're 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 gonna spin the dice again. Let's see let's see if they come back zombied. Because at this point, I don't think there's been a single revive that hasn't done that. Uh, you know what? Kirk was very cruelly killed. I'm gonna bring him back. Oh. It actually won't let me do that. Why? Why? You can apparently revive in Parameter, but not Kirk? Is Kirk perma-dead? You saw- chat, you all saw that. I hit that like five million times.
Yeah, available. Is is that also bugged? Did we kill Kirk forever? I've never seen that before. Is there something wrong with disciples? Do you need to bring them back in a manner that has not been explained? Yeah, right? What's that nonsense? Twitch chat's deciding my fate. Well, unfortunately for Twitch chat, I'm just gonna immediately do another sermon. So I don't know what this will do now that we're at max faith, if they changed anything here. So we'll slightly level the cult. I guess we just get more coins. I guess that works. Oh, chat, thank you for donating to the totem chat. We did unlock something at least last time. Ritual cooldowns have been reset? Oh. Uh, do I have enough bones for another revive? Do, do I spin do I spin the wheel? Oh, I don't. Need to get bones. Alright, we'll do we'll do one more run. Unless somebody here wanted a quest from me. I don't think they did. I hear them saying hi, but they're not actually talking to me. Do with that as you will. Man, this being over here kinda sucks. Might want to move that a little closer so I don't have to make that big walk. And if I could put it like right here, this would be perfect. Um. Oh, that might work. Actually, that might work. I love again. This is a parameter. Welcome in parameter. At least they're still making seeds and stuff work for them. I don't like that I'm splitting this, because maybe th maybe they do have to walk between the buildings. Uh, maybe here's okay. How annoying is that? Oh, you can tumble through this every time? Oh, okay. They're not solid objects. Okay, that's fine then. I can live with that. I should probably go get bones from something. don't like bone decorations, but we'll go get this so I don't have to worry about what's on the right side of the tree anymore. Um, I guess I'll just take a random person with me. I really wish I could have it default to anything other than the default. Promethean is here. We haven't used Jacqueline in a while. Let's bring Jacqueline. So I'm obviously gonna have to refarm the crystal one because there is no way I'm going through with another free revive and something terrible doesn't happen to us. I could get some seeds. I think I will. So just in case, I'm stocking up on seeds. We're gonna do one more dungeon dive so I can finally get the revive and then we'll go fight the boss. It's been a long journey to get here. What did we receive? Better chests, reveal the map. Oh, this is pretty terrible for boss killing. Oof. Is that is that officially my least favorite combo of abilities? Did I read that right? Oh, you bet it is, chat. Mmm. Mm mm mm. -mm. Please give me literally anything. Okay, thank you. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just lit literally anything. Oh, that's kind of an interesting relic. Too bad it's random, so we won't see that again for a while. Oops. Please give me more crystals. How many do we need? One more? Or no, 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 I need six in case this is a zombie. I mean, maybe they fix the damage? No. I got, I got excited. I'm like, wait, did they finally make it like uh, Hades? Where the slow moving aimable projectile does more damage than others so that I used it. It was like, no. not even close. <laughs> it's, just, it's just disappointing. Um... I don't have any use for follower meat, sadly. Oops, I didn't mean to purchase that. 
That is unfortunate. Chat, that's what we call unfortunate. I slid further than I thought. I, I forgot Dagger likes to move forward constantly. Yeah, I think I use bow for the most part in Hades as well. But uh, I don't think it ended up being my favorite at the end. <laughs> my favorite was Poseidon Dash. That was my favorite Hades gimmick. Oh, speaking of which, I can finally probably put some of the necklaces we've been acquiring on other characters. Because we do have two of them. Like the tentacle just hanging out. I can almost leave the run. I'm close. I know, if the lamb could Poseidon dash, this game would be over. <laughs> it's like, what weapon are you using? It's irrelevant. It's okay. Um, I'm going to get extra food, but I really just want to get more chances at collectibles here. I'll get cotton for garbs, I guess. So maybe we'll get extra fish along the way. So I really just need more crystals, and as soon as I get that, I'm just going to warp out. I'm not even going to bother completing the dungeon, since we have all the rewards at this point. Wait, does it, does da does it do damage while thrown? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, technically I do need a lot of bones. Hmm. Do I need to beat the boss again for bones? Can I please not have to do this with dagger? Can you give me any other weapon? It looks like there's a place I can swap it at least. Because we got pretty bad curses for bosses. We only got like poison damage on contact and like that was it. I think we got a single damage or attack speed boost or a curse boss reducer or curse damage up. So I'd really prefer not to have to do that. Got a little extra fish there, if nothing else. Let's go check to see what the secret thing is over here. Oh. Kinda wasted it, but... I guess it could have been worse. I kind of like the dash cancel slices here. It's not bad. Okay, we're, we're at 20 crystals, but I don't have enough bones now. I guess I got punished for using the other ritual. Kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Please give me a new weapon. I'll take guaranteed damage, but also get healing. It's actually okay. I really just want another weapon, though. I don't even feel like I'm being that greedy. Like, just anything other than dagger, and I'll go fight this boss. Just to get the bones that we need. Because I forgot we needed bones. Alright, so I have enough to recover from resurrection. Words that feel really terrible to say, but are so true in this game for some reason. So we got... Not enough. We need another 30. Please give me a weapon. Ooh. I want Zelda Sacks. Alright, well, Twitch chat decides my fate. I'm gonna go get free wood. And then I'll probably go straight to the boss afterwards. Unless chat says something that will absolutely crush me. We'll see. Well, the voting thing disappeared, but I don't know what Twitch chat did. Guess we'll find out. It likes to kind of finish... Oh, enemies have become harder? Oh, okay. Well, maybe I will not go straight to the boss then. That is a little bit of a detour, as it were. It's possible I could get an upgrade. Oh, Godly Axe is huge.
Yeah, having an axe that also does poison damage is kind of insane. So I'm gonna fight the mini boss, then just kill the real boss. And that should hopefully give us enough bones between the two of them. And if chat would like to make another character, we'll have some free slots. I think Ping is holding off to be the cat. Although, I don't know if that's allowed. Are you allowed to overrate the NPCs? Can't say I've seen that before, if that's a thing. I don't know how I feel about that. Is Wouldn't that mess up plot line if I did that? I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to do that, but I'm not sure if the game will let you do it. Like, what happens to the entire cat's timeline, if that happens? Did I seriously get tagged right at the end? That sucks. That's pretty close to Wombo, Wombo comboing him. Unfortunate. I want to find out. I kind of don't. I kind of actually want to see the plot stuff. Because I still have not seen it. Uh, sadly took damage there. Uh, follow work form I'll take. Take that. Sadly not a lot of bones. Alright, so the, the partying just wore off because they all became super sick. Sure, let's go fight the other boss. Yeah, like, I know you can't, for example, take over Weber. I just don't remember if the other characters were like that. One would hope not. <laughs> That'd be a really dumb way to lock yourself out of quests. Alright, we're gonna kill this for bones. This boss is basically farmable to me. I can't quite perfect run it, as I'm not good enough yet. So I'd like to do the clutch of having the invincible weapon. Like, I could do a ton of damage to this character. Don't get me wrong. But, like, that attack right there... It's just whatever. Instead, we'll just go for a speed kill. So you can see, chat, if I had the invincibility one, it would be over. I need, like, what, two casts of it? And then auto-kill that boss real quick. Yeah, the boss is still free. It only takes a while if you dodge. Oh, Red Panda unlocked. Now we have a pretty good amount of bones. It should be enough for a resurrection. And I should be able to counter the downside of the resurrection. Ridiculous. I have enough coins that if I need to buy seeds, I should be good. Hopefully I don't. So let's revive, see what happens. I'll cure a couple people, so I'm not wasting as much time here. Chris is poisoned because the game hates Chris, apparently. Let's go cure Chris so he can just be back to his normal self. Uh, let's talk to you. Can I make you swap this? Let's give... JJ Persona more life. I'd like our characters to last longer if we can. Coral has long life. We're gonna tell him to bed rest, though. I think for Steve's character, we're gonna remove his necklace, and we'll give Steve long life, if we can. There we go. He used to get some rest. Fuck Lord to get some rest. I have, like, a million beds. So I think we're almost all good now. 
Interestingly, I didn't get a follower for killing the other mini boss. I guess I didn't really think about that until just now. Hmm. Did they put 16 out of 15 in there? Uh oh, chat. Uh, yeah, well, we'll yeah, okay. <laughs> just, chat, nod your head, like, mm hmm, mm hmm. Level Steve again. What does Steve have to confess? Fighting with the lamb. No lamb. There we go, Steve is leveled again. We're not a call who's good at math, apparently. Yeah, let's go fix our staff up a little. So we'll very slowly level the cult this way, but more importantly, I'm gonna get money. Also, weirdly, you can't skip this animation. So it's faster while you still have people, or still unlocks to get, than it is after you have everything unlocked, which is a bit weird. Uh, let's make a couple meals, but not too many. I'll make a couple of silk threads for later. I'm basically just ensuring that we always have extra resources if I really need them. Somebody leveled. <laughs> oh, there we go. The ex-zombie leveled. Oh, that's right. I should be sending people on missionary missions. Um, yeah, those I think are worth building. Chat, look what resource it costs. Nod your head, chat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else? What else would it cost? Um, hmm. I don't think if there's anything else I need to do here before we go fight the boss. Take the free resources. I don't know if most of these resources are worth doing unless I just want to purposely kill somebody. Also, I love that it keeps defaulting to, like, terrible things. But Chris is technically one of the best to go. But even then, he has still got a small chance of dying. I think I'm gonna say no for now. Fine. Well, let's, let's, let's gamble, chat. Spin the roulette. Will I kill somebody reviving them again? So I'm keeping all of our cultist counts high. That way we should get continuous resources. Okay, now I can revive Kirk for some reason. Now I can. We'll bring Kirk back. After he was cruelly taken from this world. Is he catatonic? He's not catatonic. Uh, witness Agari is looking a little looking a little old there, chat. Alright, so let's go set up for the funnel boss. Um really need some damaging characters. Let's do by level. Again, I really wish the default was always this. Parameter with Orcus is huge. The par and Parameter coming in clutch. I actually need that. Um... Ooh, do we have a high level bow user? We. Oh, why does it stop doing that? Okay, there we go. This is the Reaper's power. Recolina is our best bomb character. Oh, show us Vettel. Yes. Yeah, we basically just want damage. I don't care about survivability here. So if I could get a bow. Of course it keeps... Please just remember my defaults, I beg of you. Uh, let's see. Let's get a bow user here. Oh, we can get health leave in here. There we go. So that way we just have continuous damage against the the bosses. It's dumb they could die of old age, yeah. yeah we're 
gonna make sure that they have more meal to cook if they really need it. Talk to always on the bathroom. Interesting. Okay, so let's let one game day pass since it's already at the end of the day anyway. Improve this place. I can also upgrade... Oh, I haven't even built any of the new structures still. Maybe one day. Essentially, at some point, I want to make basically everybody immortal, but we have to get to that point. Well, speaking of which, I should probably cook myself a decent meal. I want to do it before they all come over here. That way, I can give myself a little extra health for the next thing. Yeah. That's good boss prep. I think chat would agree. That's good. Extra health, more damage across the board. One of the game is like trying desperately to keep up with everything we just did. So our seed things at least back to half. Let a day go by, we'll use Confession. I'm not sure if there's anything else we could do with the Disciples, or if they become, like, ultra-powerful or something. Eventually, I want basically as many people from Twitch chat as I can to get in there. Might as well do this while I'm waiting. should be able to upgrade that pretty easily at least. As long as we always have at least one upgraded wood place, I'm not that worried about running out of wood at this point. Anything else I could do in here? I don't think so. Let's chat once another character. I did not mean to read that. I'll get extra seeds just in case I happen to be low, because I could just have like a lot of like mushroom seeds or something stupid, which would not surprise me. At least I increased the odds of it being food. There you go. So I think, Chad, if you keep contributing to the totem, we might get a big unlock, but we'll see. I'm going to see what you decide our fate to be after we do a little sermon here. Which again, should improve everybody's level very slightly. And then I could take a confession, and then we will go. All materials were refined. Oh. That was fast. Thank you, John. I need more consecrated wood, for sure. Oops, somebody I think wants a quest. Leader, these new recruits have no think if you ask me, they should prove themselves to make them work through the night. Um, maybe eventually. Not right now, though. I'm not in a rush for it. Right, is there anything else I need to do? I'm at three bonus hearts, which is a lot. I think Jack can agree. Three into the boss is kind of nice. Been leveling Steve up a lot. Is there anybody else that hasn't received love? Oh, we haven't leveled Promethean in a while. Let's level Promethean. There we go. More love to more characters. Oh. Okay, so I think we are good to go. 
Let's try it. I'm gonna do it without any revives. I'm just gonna see if I can challenge myself to do it without just basically cheating. We got extra hearts. Lame is love, the lame is life. We now have a veritable army of death with us. We have the right amount of people to do the ritual, which is good. Yeah, we're basically nothing but damage. Uh, do I want sword to deal with projectiles or axe is the real question. Wait, why are two of these gauntlets? Wait, are my choice gauntlet, gauntlet, or axe? Wait, that's... Oh, no, chat. Wait, I don't, I don't get, I thought it was always a different weapon. Um... Ooh, uh, I'm gonna say big yikes. Big yikes. Okay, can we at least get a good spell? Oh boy. <laughs> that's not great. Okay, that's, we'll try. You have two hands, why were they up in two gauntlets? Yeah, I was like, wow. So we got none of my favorite spells and Probably a bad bolts weapon? Gotta be yikes. Alright, so last time we kneeled. So we saw the bad ending already. Let's get the real ending. We have a lot of extra health thanks to everything that we have here. So now my curiosity is, will I get the cards as soon as we go to battle? Or do I battle without getting the cards? I don't- it doesn't make a big difference to me, I'm just kind of curious. Okay, so how dare you not kneel? That crown is mine by divine right! You think to stand in the very face of death? Master, allow me. I will give this wretch a taste of your wrath. Like how he just basically stands up. Oh. Ouch. Ah, uh, he's basically done. Poor cat. Take care of this beast, Master. Got that crown from its head. Oh. It's kind of immediately hit me. Cool. Well, I mean, the heat-seeking part of the curse is actually kind of good. Like, the souls do way more than the actual attack does. I'm kind of okay with. That's not bad. Okay, so our curse is a bit better than I thought. You think yourself victorious. You think yourself safe. Do not forget you belong to me. Even after I've slaughtered you, your pain will not end. You cannot escape me, even in death. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So we can pick up a bonus heart. So I'm still doing pretty good health-wise here. I just need to pick up some curse energy. I can't get the three hit combo. That's what I was worried about. I mean, he's not doing so hot against us, Chad, I will say. Oops. Oh, oops. I didn't realize that was the attack he was using. Uh, I... This is just kind of not fun to do with Claw, not gonna lie. Uh, can you do something else, please? There we go. So we should be able to get most of my curse energy back. Now we're in the real fight. Did you believe me defeated? Did you think to be... Did you think that to be all there was to a being such as I? You thought yourself above a god? Alright, real boss time, Jan. Look at that, we get the cinematic and everything. Hades phase two. The one who waits more like the one who dies, damn. Truth, though.
You are corrupt, false idol. Your corruption has no doubt spread. Oh, there's our companions. Sadly, we didn't get the explosion one back. If I could stop bopping. There we go. There we go. With the power of broken hitbox, we'll be fine. Oh, I gotta actually dodge. How unfortunate. This guy stopped stolen? Also, what is this? At least they're vomiting curse energy. This should be over soon. Ouch. Goodbye. Death the ghost chat. There we go. Ghost buddy finished him. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. You have supplanted me, a vessel no more, and set a crown bearing deity, damned lamb. I am at your mercy. Are you to be a vengeful false idol or a merciful coward? No longer can you blame your vile acts on me. Uh, there's no reason to murder him at all, I'm sparing. You weak, sniveling, foul thing, you. Wait, wait! Down he goes, chat. Now we can breed some truly broken characters. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully his children will be quote unquote cuter than he, that form was. Oh, Weber's there, Steve's there, Parameter, Promethean. For some reason, the witnesses are there before Chris, for some reason. I feel like Chris got scammed on that ending. Sacrifice reborn vessel. Ascend one more time and take true form. No longer a servant, but a god. Thank you for playing, Noble Disciple. So we already saw this. <laughs> there you go, chat. Fast forward works. Probably, probably off being eaten again. Damn, truth. Truth, for sure. El Cleave is no longer a demon. I don't know about that. El Cleave could be whatever he wants. Oh, there's basic decorations. Sure, we'll unlock these. I'll never use them, because I don't care. But anyway, now we're just down to unlocking the sin-related things, and oh, I guess technically there's these if I wanted more devotion, which I don't. But I guess it's there. Uh, I would like to save the game. Force the save here. Please spare me. It does let me allegedly follow or raffle him. Gullible, zealous, immortal. Hmm. I'm gonna check something before I go further. Does this ruin the quest if I do this? I... I kinda wanna know before I do this. don't want to risk it to be honest with you chat uh, if i can't find that immediate answer i kind of don't want to give people this i mean i could see what happens but i imagine bad things happen i don't know I i'm not a i'm not a big uh believer in them having done this right i'm sorry as i said before i actually want to do it no i really don't want to raffle ping 
I'm sorry. Unless you can prove straight up it is not going to lock me out of an entire quest line, I kind of don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I don't really want to do that, to be honest with you. I don't trust the game to work, given everything that we've seen tonight and in general. Unless you can show me that this happens, I don't really want to make this character a, a chat character and then just not be able to do anything related to the story. Like, if I do this and then I lock the bishops out, that's going to feel super terrible. Yeah, I don't think I want to do it. I, I've spent about five minutes looking it up because I was doing that during the credits when I was holding fast forward, but I do not see it. Sorry, chat. I'm not going to risk it. I actually want to complete the game at some point. Let's go tell them to chop trees, but I offer an alternative for ping. But I need something specific. I can make Ping better than that character, believe it or not. I think we have everything we need. Yes. Mating tent time. Alright, time to make some truly horrendously broken followers. <laughs> the Ping, what if instead of being immortal, I can make you immortal and never need food? <laughs> Ping the Undying, for real. You know, do I get to choose the followers? That's the only thing I'm not sure about. I can... Hmm... Okay... So, we know Weber's at the bottom. So what if we do the one who waits... And where's he at? Oh, I can't select him for some reason. Why can't I not select the other character? Huh? Did I kill the character or something by accident? Or can I not breed with Weber? Yeah, I was gonna say, did, did they remove that? I didn't see him in here. One second. Do I get to choose Weber here? One second. Uh... Maybe they locked him out? That's fine, we could still make an immortal follower. Okay, so we need the one who waits. The parameter is exhausted. Does not want to go to the mating tent. Apparently Kirk is really good at breeding with the one who waits. Let's see. Confused KFC is the celibate trait. Well, Fang is up there. Who's our bet? Can we do it by percentage of success? How do I? How do I know? Hmm. I think Wolfag would be okay with this. Let's see what happens. Oh, did they patch it out? <gasps> Is that what the patch was? Oh no! Did they get rid of it? <gasps> oh, that's so unfair. I think they got rid of it. Oh, we were like one too slow. That is so sad. Did they seriously get rid of that? Unless I have to marry and do something else with it. I mean, sure, we'll make Lustful. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that was a thing, because I remember people talking about it before. Alright, so now I have the egg. Oh, is that what that patch was? I swear people were talking online about it. This like, not even that long ago. Power. That is really unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna check later. I thought that's all you had to do. Oh well. Well, we could still make ping the the off breed. Whatever we need. There we go. 
And to the egg. Go get these out of the way. If so, that is really unfortunate. Hmm. Yes, I don't see it in here anymore. That is so sad. Maybe that's why Weber also doesn't show up? Because Kirk's allowed in, and Kirk is one of the, uh... Disciples. So I don't think it was that. Unless it is. No, it's not. So, I'm not sure. Unfortunate that they took that out of the game. Hmm. Apparently, apparently I can make some more ragged robes for people. Sure, why not? feel like I'm playing Shadow Hearts all over again. I think I can assign these to other characters. Let's give it to Weber. Let's give it to Diego. I think Dango's dead, but we can we can make rows for Dango. Rip Dango. Oh, in the fashion. Should we make a rude hero follower? Probably. We do a high level. Who else is high level in our call? Oh, and parameter. Here we go. Upgrade. And sure. Promethean's here. I'll just give it to Promethean. There you go. Clothing upgrade. Dead go. Yeah. We need to get more bones. But fortunately... Um, tell Hulk if you go to sleep, since apparently he doesn't go to sleep. So what we're gonna do... do I, I don't think I have enough bones for anything, right? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I could campfire. I don't have enough to toil, sadly. The game really wants me to unlock something. It looks like beating the game gave us new outfit choices. So what are the new outfit choices? The curses may be used to receive four curse-related tarot cards. One hit, no resurrections, deal ten times damage. Deal a heart after completing each room, increase movement seed and starting health. You cannot roll. Ooh. No hearts will spawn, but heal using fervor to regenerate health. Oh, that's like the, uh... Why can I not remember the game? Hollow Knight. It reminds me of a Hollow Knight mechanic. Um... I'm kind of curious about the, the curse only, but then how do you... I mean, I'm just curious. I mean, if it is like dim... I mean, you have to get regenerating fervor or something, right? Or it would just be unplayable. Just trying to think like how that would work. All right, so we're on it by default. Yeah, so those are new as well, because the original game had, like, nothing. <laughs> like, just legit nothing. I think it was just those first four or five. And that was about it, frankly. Speaking of which, I need to tell them to make more food. But they don't off themselves doing something dumb later. So we got more resources there. Yeah, my worry is that I'm not seeing like a ton of food being made, but hopefully it gets fixed over time. Parameter also needs to sleep. Anybody else who's walking around that shouldn't be? Oh. Guess I'll bully witness Astaroth. Level him up more. I don't really see as any downsides. One downside, though, to not having all the divine inspiration done is that we're not getting as much money. Oh, as he just bullies me. What a jerk. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Get 
It was a wrong mixture of being an evil demon and possibly bringing a render and not letting it pass out his immortality. Yeah. Fortunate. Okay, so now we've unlocked something new. This is the post game. Hmm. I too cross sword and sun, infinity symbol cross, eyeball cross. I seek the newly anointed god, successor of the victims, less of their kind. Confer with me. Fickle beast, do you not feel how the boundary betwixt this world and the next has begun to fray? You are artless in your duties, infant god. You did bestow upon the bishop's death, yet deny them rest. Bearer of the red crown, set this right. Forced are they to relive their final agonies. Move them on, as is your duty as the new god of death. There we go. Head, she's scared to eat. My tasty treat is well, twice as much gold. Do not like round head. Hmm. So, if I remember correctly, we have to straight up kill our own followers. And once you kill them that way, they're dead forever, as a reminder. Everything is doubled in price. Oh, you know what it is. I remember. There is something we could do. Let's offer. Let's offer. Hang a new ability. There's a glitch, I think, with Weber. Or I don't know if it's a glitch. Let's see if they fixed it. So you can change Weber into something else. And I think when you do this... It gets rid of his unique form, but then we can make it so that they don't starve. I'll, I'll let chat decide in a bit if they want me to do that or not. All eggs are ready to hatch? Well, apparently Ping is about to be here. Doubt that they fixed that, but we could find out. Hmm, nothing new here. Well, let's go see the egg, I guess. Oh my gosh, that's hideous. What the heck is that? All oh, there's the sound of the wedding weights and switch. There we go. Lustful and gullible. There we go. What a combo. Damn, he started at level three. <laughs> I was gonna say, Ping's, Ping's potential future host <laughs> looks very interesting at the moment. Wolf Fang gamed overwhelmed parent? Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can change the character looks. I guess it's up to Chad. I don't super care if we redesign Weber's look. That I don't care about. But just let me know, Chad. I will let a little bit of time pass. If we get a good reward here, we might need it. See, 10% bonus damage increase? Okay. Also, they really destroyed all of our little working stations. That's awkward. Get these out of the way. I still have time to do the perform the ritual. But by the time we clear another one, we should be able to make them work through the night. I'm going to make sure we have at least one source of stone gathering in case I accidentally spend it all. But as you can see, we're at an excess of almost 500. Also, there really should be a faster way to gather this. 
There we go. Do a little work on it while we wait. I get people just passed out while worshipping, more or less. Oh, Diego aged. How unfortunate. Still wants me to get this other one. I really want that unlock, though. Oh, yeah, I remember the blunderbuss, but honestly, I'm not really a big fan of the blunderbuss. I, I think for the limited ammo, I kind of needed it to be more comparable to the hammer and damage. It's just kind of not. I don't think the range benefit is as good as normal. The music sounds different. I don't remember if this song ever played before. Okay, so we'll we'll figure it out. That's good that they added more music to the game. Oops, I touched the wall. Now we're not allowed to touch the wall. Infant God, you think yourself worthy of my realm. Yeah, that's about average. So here's the worst part, chat. Until we deal with those doors, we shouldn't revive anybody because we just can't even get the resources to cure ourselves. Fervor replenishes over time. Triple fervor. Fervor costs left. Fervor fully replenishes every room. Okay, that's an amazing host of cards. Knocks back and freezes enemies. Absolutely. Oh yeah, this could actually be fun. I mean, if I recover every room, it's actually kind of fun. Good, good change. Freeze we know is overpowered. Though I don't need invincibility if I have freeze. Like, if you're doubting the power of it, witness this nonsense. <laughs> Just like, yes. Alright, we could get another card. Um, I don't know if that applies to our curses, but I'll take it, I guess. So, unlike the other one where we start with four cards, we can purchase more cards. Why not? Let's purchase another card. Let's see, chat. What's our max potential here? Um, none of this is relevant to us. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. One other card. Better chests? Okay. Listen, as long as we respawn every room... Amazing. Nope. 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 Oh my gosh, chat, I'm having fun with curses. It only took literally something that makes them viable. <laughs> it needed an entire... Uh, an entire pickup in order for me to enjoy it. Holy... Yeah, gone are the days of uh, homing wolf instant deleting bosses. Rip homing wolf. Never forget. I'll always remember when I launched that for the first time and it did 33% uh, of the boss's health on one shot. Then another 33% and then it killed them. And that took two casts. But again, we're getting increased fervor and fervor regen. So I'm not feeling too bad, and since this is an easy AoE, and it didn't make me do the one where I have to aim the shot, it's gonna go pretty quick. So this might be my new favorite for a while. It means I can't be daggered, chat. Although it does mean I can get toss bombed, which will make me very sad. Hmm, lots of food choices. I will go for this food choice, I guess. Full mage, yeah, pretty much. Now, if these summon ghosts, this would be the pig build. Yeah, we'll get extra food, because I do need to feed the cult more. Wow, look at that farming efficiency. So good. And 
this Agari died. Rip Agaris. Forget, was there a dialogue here? No. The hitbox is also more than where it indicates, and I'm not gonna complain. We're just gonna nod our heads on that one. Also, I forget if collecting these witnesses locks me out of getting the no damage on bosses. Honestly, don't remember. Wow. I, well, I mean, according to this, I'm not going to take damage until we hit a boss. It is pretty strong right now. The silly thing is I don't even think we have curse damage up. Like, we're not even at our peak build. What? Okay. Make offering. What is what is this room? Into tablet one, I meant only to survive, yet chief feathered hand of the great one's gone. It seemed me to be worthy. O first gods, guide me, I devote myself to you, holy body and soul. I'll strike down descent, I will cold out. Nurse this crown and be worthy of this power in blood, I swear. Oh, so I got more lore. I await the one who values truth over all else. This is all new content. Hopefully that didn't count for the no damage run. If that counts as losing health for the boss reward, I'm going to be so sad. I'd be like, really? Oh, I, st I can still get relics? Oh, chat. Oh, no. Oh no, my damage potential is like off the charts right now. <laughs> right, chat? Like, wait a minute. I mean, that, that relic does help no matter what it is. This is an AoE damage one. Oh, I remember you. Oh, hello there, my valued client. My, such heavy clothing. It's been an age since I've left home, but I was compelled. What a rich world. Sinister and vibrant and rich. Isn't charity the greatest virtue? <laughs> mm -hmm. No mercy. Velvet, yeah, pretty much. We'll no mercy him soon enough. I mean. I don't think I want to change my spell at all, I'm going to be honest with you. Even if the other spells do more damage, the AoE and Freeze is just busted. Like, to be real with you. Hmm. Yeah, I hope I didn't lock myself out of boss refights. I might have done that. It's a bit unfortunate. I honestly just don't remember it. We only got to the post game once. Since that did not exist when we first played. But what I can say is that, man, this damage is insane. Right, chat? Like, it kind of makes me just never want to play weapons ever again. So I guess magic can be fun as long as you have four cards. Is that what I'm learning? Possessed enemies... No. I don't think I want any of these. I think I got the one that I want. No. Oh, we neglected ping for a day. My bad ping. I'm playing I'm just kind of okay with this. Ice is pretty strong. Wow, that was like an instant clear. And we have a relic, which is kind of nice. I should just keep going downwards. Oh, actually, that's the boss. I should not keep going downwards. I should go clear the other room. I mean, I'm noticing I'm not quite one-shotting, but that's mostly just because I didn't upgrade the spell level. The spell itself is just so over, like, oppressively strong that I think it kind of doesn't matter. 
to. We'll play the dodging mini game, I guess, against the bosses. Well, let's find out if I lock myself out of refights. Not the end of the world, it's just for an achievement. Barbados 2. Look how much that slows him, chat. Look at that. How is that fair? The fact that Freeze works while they're underground is insane to me. I have no idea why they allow that. It That's probably an exploit. Honestly, I would not be surprised if they just forgot. <laughs> like, can we agree, chat? That was so free. <laughs> it was free. <laughs> why suffer when you can just win? Holy... Yeah, I don't think Freeze should work underground. I, I, I'm okay with Freeze hitting the boss, but like, I can just tag him and do whatever. Because with how that works, I basically... I basically could just never be touched because I regenerate so much fervor. Unless regen fervor is not guaranteed. But with that combination, actually gross. Look at that chat. No damage the entire dungeon. Disgusting. Well, anyway, we have enough for a revive now if I want to. But I should probably do the toil thing before I fail that quest. We'll go pay attention to the ping who waits. Where is where the ping who waits? Where did he go? Ujo, are you a spy? You... Chat, I was like, we did not name this character. You are so dead. I can't even begin- I can't even begin to tell you how dead this character is. I missed what chat just gave me. Next egg will be golden. I mean, we have another contender for paying. <laughs> it will not let me bring Pink who waits with other people. Um... Hmm... Is there anybody with, like, super good traits that we've been holding on to that I forgot about? Like, there's ones that I think improve work speed, right? Zen Productions there. Wow. Been a Sasseroth, one of the worst. Golden Ping Hu waves. Hmm. I thought maybe they're dead. Maybe Dango had it. I swear somebody had, like... Worse it's sin, but gain more work productivity. I don't see it, though, looking at this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want the decreased productivity one. That one's not worth it. Hmm. We'll come back to that in a second. So we need to murder Fujo right now. We're, we're gonna make him suffer a very unfortunate accident. Oh, I can't tell him to do anything. Oh, I'll just imprison him then. Get wrecked, idiot. I don't care if that ruined our faith. <laughs> right, chat? Like, we're good. Also, I decided to put something at the totem to speed up the totem generation stuff, since we're basically at that point. I don't care that it tanks our faith. I'll just let him sit there. Hmm. Let's do a ritual to work through the night, because that's what was requested. Our faith is going to tank, but then I could just have everybody on mushrooms. You know, the, the obvious response to how do you deal with people's happiness. Just drug them up, it's fine. Sure, this has no implications. So before they descend, mushroom time. Well, the other character almost got to steal money from us, I guess. Too bad. 
resulting in a super follower. Well, we could try to make a follower for Ping. Let's get a sermon going, though. Not to raise faith, but mostly just to slightly level people. Which did work. Poor confused KFC. Hmm. Oh, we need a place to take care of the, uh, the children. Should probably build that at some point, I guess. Put them right near the breeding tent. Don't think about the implications. No idea where Confused KFC is. Oh, can deal with that though. Oh, there he is. He's working. All the stream stars that would be pleased, yeah. Something like that. There we go. Or confused KFC. Alright, so... On the plus side, now that we've fueled this up, and they're near the thing that improves their work ethics, they should just add like a million points to this for a second. Alright, let's see if we can get some ridiculous abilities going. The local's okay. I kind of like Cowboy's abilities, actually. Faster, faster recovery from sick is a good one. Oh. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I could go for that thing. Let's mess with Weber. Which, technically, I think chat could now become Weber if they want to. Not sure what that'll do to the game. That's technically you could make somebody Weber. His name doesn't make sense, yeah. We have so many locked skins, it's kind of crazy. That's kind of webby, I guess. Good enough. Let's see what happens. Weber looking different. Alright, so now let's see if we can exploit it. Yeah, so now we can. Alright, can we get like a super baby? Technically, Weber and the cowboy, I think, would be our best combo. We don't have a great chance to breed. Followers a child, followers imprisoned. Hmm. I was gonna say, you know what? Potentially, since this will end up probably being Ping's character, where I'm thinking, don't starve, gullible. Did you want more traits, or did you just specifically want it to be the one who waits? <laughs> well, we'll let Ping pick. <laughs> we'll name the character. They have at least decent odds. So I think otherwise, that would be the best combo. I don't think anybody else other than Cowboy is there, although surprisingly Cowboy is not good at the breed there. I'll just stick to the one who waits. Cool. Yeah, I don't think anybody else has any crazy abilities. There we go. The Forbidden Union. Aw. And it just costs the sin. It's kind of annoying. Try again. There we go. I had one more sin, chat, just for you. Gen Generate devotion faster when wearing a unique outfit. That is a funny one to have, actually. We're gonna have Don't Starve and Fashionable. I feel like this is what Ping would want. Although, did we get the golden egg? It doesn't. It doesn't feel like we did. 
I think Ping might have gotten cheated there. I'm not sure. Or because they failed to mate, it burned the egg usage. Not sure. Oh well. We'll let Ping decide who he becomes in the future, I guess. Yeah, chat might have been cheated there by the game just deciding not to give you the ability. Alright, so we're slowly unlocking the remaining things. Now that we have basically everybody in full worship mode, it shouldn't take too much longer. Bring more pings. It'd be <laughs> ping again. Let's see, anybody else need some levels? We're mostly just looking to make sure we have people for disciples. So let's get Steve Max. What does Steve have to say? Grumpy fighting. Oh, no under spawns or pings, pretty much. There we go. Steve getting close to disciplehood. So whatever he does is more efficient now. Cult of the pings. It's secretly everybody's been ping. Always been ping. Yeah, having them basically be immortal is kind of interesting. But it seems like it's not there. But hey, we could still make everybody no longer need food, which is useful. It's still at 16 out of 15. We're not going to question it. Alright, so... There's so many worshippers that at least this goes pretty quickly. I mentioned before. Hmm. We do have some other tunics and stuff here. Apparently there's a lot of designs we didn't get. Why would I ever do something that costs sin? We are just not anywhere near there. At least we could kind of see the DLC stuff here. Anyway, let's actually go get more Doctrine stuff. Probably what we should be doing. I sense your success. I feel... feel the presence of a god tier. Strength, longevity, and a mourning that stretches eternally. Found in the bellies of the foulest of beasts and villains, but seen only by those ascended to godhood. This is unique, so I imagine Prox Fashionista, maybe. So many office address are you ping up in, exactly. But to Vunderous, I'm glad to have underestimated you, for I only deal with gods. An offer, newly ascended. Give unto me a name, and we shall be fellows in Enterprise. I precious articles for a being such as you. Okay, chat. What are we naming the... Traitor? Character? <laughs> Is this another ping? Is everybody secretly ping? This is what I'm learning. Okay, what's how many letters can we type? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, So 17? No, 16 characters. All is paying Gnip. Oh no, is this Gnip? Name it Blue Donna? Oh no. Alright, Chad, I need a name. I'm okay with it being Ping. <laughs> Ping who waits fits. Trader Ping. We have P Ping who waits is already in the other place. This one's the merchant. The merchant doesn't have anything to do with the one who waits. Could be God Ping. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta come up with a good name, Chad. Let's think. What is, out of curiosity, what is this character normally called? Let's find out, Chad. In real time. Maybe that will determine the name of her ping. It's dubbed Mystic Seller in the game files. Is this Mystic Ping? What does Chad think of that one? to say. We'll, we'll give Chad another second or so. There's so many ping names to think of. 
Yeah, I had no idea what this character was supposed to be called. All right, chat says sure. Mystic Ping now exists. And thus, our contract is struck. Bring me God Tears, and I shall reward you in turn. Okay, let's see what Ping gives us. We got a commandment. Is there something I wanted in the commandments? Enough fragments of Horner Forgotten Commandment Stone. You can use Forgotten Commandments to declare doctrines you did not previously choose. Um. Uh. Our inaugural transaction. Some items may hold powers you cannot yet fathom. May they serve you well. Um. I guess the work and toil ones might be worth getting. Right now, the other ones don't really matter at all. I don't care about the sin upgrades yet. Yeah, work and worship might make sense. Yeah, that way they just generate devotion faster. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just go with this. Just free stats for the cult. Hi, right. free stats. Several people leveling up right there. Yeah, we still keep the old ones. So as part of the uh, the changes, it's just you can eventually get all of the doctrines. So I had a feeling the one that probably upgraded our stats will be more useful here. Since we're waiting on this anyway, we might as well improve our generation here. Everything else looks fine here. One thing I am noticing is that they are preferring to stay on this side a little more. Maybe it makes sense to put them like... Uh, I don't really got a good spot for it no matter what. I'll just leave it there then. I'm gonna wait till we get another upgrade, which should not take very long. There we go. So we don't have too much more. We have basically just two in the sin category and then just all the morgues. We'll get to eventually. And I do conf oh, no confession. Um Yeah. I think I'm just gonna let them die in the stocks chat. I think I think we're overdue for just having somebody rot. i am be real with you. It, it's time to just be evil. So yeah, so unfortunately- Oh, see, this time it says it. Chat, remember when I complained about that? <laughs> I hope for all the choices where you get rid of a follower, it tells you that. Let's see, it's another spell only run. We have no reason not to do this. Oh, is that ice again? Fervor restore, triple fervor. Fervor. Oh, so is, is it the same every time? Oh, okay. I'm okay with that. Chat. Well, GG, it's over. Oh, this spell is much worse than the other one. Oh, that's disappointing. Such a big AoE, damage is just terrible. Little lamb, I feel you there. Darkwood has not forgotten me. I can still find you in my woods. Icicle disaster! Oh, and it didn't restore the ice? In between with the cutscene? That sucks. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we neglected Ping again. I'm so sorry, Ping. Alright, wow, we're seeing a massive downside to this spell. Holy, this one is so much worse than the other one. Okay. 
Alright, so maybe it was worth re-rolling. What a night and day difference between the runs. Look at this. I'm just waiting awkwardly. We'll do a better we'll do a better job with the new ping, it's true. Yeah, like I can't even do anything now. This is so awkward. And it doesn't one-shot, so it's hard to restore our fervor. Yeah, it doesn't even kill the weak enemies in one hit. That is just so sad. Yeah, we, we need to replace this immediately if we're able to. Of course. Oh, it crashed again? Oh, chat, come on. Really? Really? This is embarrassing. Chat, I need to edit the review. That is embarrassing. Yes, I know it's not responding. Wow. What did they break? <laughs> what did they upload? I'm, I'm going to have to edit the review. I can't believe I have to edit it to be worse. Chad, we went from zero crashes. So, Chad, if you want to know what happened there, is is recall bugged? Did I accidentally hit recall? I know. It's crazy. Hold on, chat. I mean, it saved me from that run. To be fair, that run was not going anywhere. <laughs> but is, is recall broken? Did they break recall? Is that what happened? So what we're going to do, we're, we're going to bug test because they're not bug testing. <laughs> right, chat? We're, we're going to make, we're going to learn today. Holy. Oh, the lamb, please. Well, I guess I get to potentially not neglect ping. <laughs> We're in the timeline where we cared more. There we go. There we go. New timeline chat where we don't just absolutely dunk on his <laughs> abilities. Right, can we put him in the nursery? Yeah, there we go. No more free roam ping. Ping who waits was given affection. Sounds about right. That is a lot of follow loyalty boosts. meals let's well, that's a dumb quest i'm just gonna auto pass this all right we're gonna save afterwards so i don't need to redo this you know talk to the right character okay all right, we're saving after this. We're gonna let dawn occur. I'm gonna do the sermon, then we're gonna move on, so I don't need to do any of this again. Promethean just cooking away over there. All right, so let's go do a sermon thing and let's continue. We'll save right after this. That way I don't need to do this again. Everybody gets slightly better XP. We'll put somebody in the confession. As long as we do that at a regular basis, it shouldn't be too bad. Is Steve maxed yet? Oh, I don't see Steve here. Maybe maybe we cap Steve. Okay, we'll do Wolfang next then. There we go. Everybody getting closer to being potential disciples. And potentially adding more loyalty. Let's just take care of this real quick. Look at that, Chad. We have like five more unlocks to go. We're not even close to clearing close game, so we got some time.
Oh, I could summon somebody on a journey if I want to. Ooh. Hmm. Who do we risk? Is there somebody we don't super care if they die? Oh, witness Astaroth. Oh yeah, you're you're gonna get some bones. Yeah, we should probably get two people getting bones every day. If we're able to. Sure. Vefpar the third. Sure, I barely even remember you. Let's just get some bones. <laughs> Maybe they'll get enough bones to revive themselves, chat. <laughs> They're good. How long do eggs take? I have no idea. We skipped that whole process. I'm assuming three days. Okay, we don't have enough bones for that, sadly. Alright, so let's see. Oh, Twitch has to sign my fate, so I can't leave no matter what here. Does these have a necklace? I don't think they do. Give them... Movement speed up. Easy level up. Because they do have to walk a lot, no matter who they are. Yeast was leveled up. Thank you, Jan. Give a gift to you as well. We'll cowboy up a bit more. Mm, anybody we could just straight up bribe. Pyramider has something. Oh, we could give uh, Josie an item. Oh no, they're, they're dodging me. There we go. Oh! They're scared of me for some reason. Let's reassure. They might have coward trade or something. Which means I can't give them an item. Unfortunate. Omethian, do you have anything? Let's see, you don't. That movement speed up. Since you're doing devotion stuff, let's have you generate more loyalty. Plus, chat likes the cow bonuses anyway. Leveling him will probably help regardless. Oh, there's Nodus 5. We gotta give Nodus 5 some love as well. Anybody that I've talked to that doesn't have one. Does Confuse KFC have something? They do not. Oh, Joel, how did you get out of jail? Who broke the prison? Was that was that, that zany Promethean again? Did he free the spy? Yeah, I think we can make people immortal eventually. But I think having the don't starve one is going to be extremely powerful. Alright, so we've given necklaces to most characters. Let's level Dusk up with gifts since we have a million of them. Um, sadly I don't have a good... I See, now we should unlock the kill command. Now that would be great, because then I could just off the spy. I'll let them steal resources. I think it's probably okay. I think they just take money, which I don't care about. I think we're in a good spot. Alright, so the only thing we need to do is just ensure that these characters... have something better to do. I could risk building the third missionary one. Let's hold off on that for now. I'm surprised none of those bets have collapsed. I guess I'll ignore them for now. Um... I think I need a couple more basic sites for them to work out, and then we're good. Yeah, as Jack can see, I don't even really bother with demons when I play. They're good, but... I don't need them. Okay, we're gonna save for real this time. That way I don't lose anything that we just did. Alright, can you give us a little a little something better than we had before? Preferably not that dumpster fire of a spell, because that spell did actually no damage. Uh sweet might be good. Alright, so it's the same things every time. Yeah, sweet might be worth it.
Oh, I didn't mean to purchase that. That really sucks. That was a waste of money. I walk too close while charging spells. So it might not be as good as the other one, but at least it's AoE. I could work with that. All right, Chad, like, this is workable. The other one was clearly better in, like, every single regard. No contest. still want to get an upgrade over this for sure, but at least I can sort of clear. What a day and night difference of damage. Please buff these weapons, right chat? Yeah, let's see what's over here. something that improves damage. If we get an improved damage one, this would be huge for us. 20% chance of negating damage when hit. That's actually huge for the no damage challenge. Let's get another card. Hoping for spell damage. Let's see what happens. None of these are worth it, sadly. I mean, we have like a bazillion health, so my... Survivability is guaranteed. Wow, Chad, I have just so many hearts right now. I didn't realize I was going tank build. Now, now that we have a decent weapon, I'm not going to try the teleport. But I promise you soon I will. Also, let me regenerate. Since, you know what it is? Entering this room doesn't give you the meter back. That's what happened last time. So that's kind of an oversight on their part. I guess they never thought you would potentially come in this room with the spells only challenge. Foresight. This room should have given you the curse back. So that's why I was at like one fervor the whole time previously. But at least this time I have enough to at least while waiting charge some meter. If I guess I time it so it hits the golden thing, that's what's causing it to double hit. Kind of interesting. Unfortunately, I'm out of meter. Also, you can't really see the, the meter thing through objects, which also sucks. But anyway, I think we can all agree that was infinitely better than the other one. The other one was just like literal waiting around. Um, probably just want food. Yeah, and anything that keeps the cult alive longer, just kind of want to take it if we can. Hmm, I think I think I see a clothing store, but we're gonna go in that direction. Oh, I didn't regain fervor coming here either. That kind of blows. I think I missed out on some collectibles there. So, like, our spell's not terrible, but it's not... It's not Circular Death Aura of auto-win. Destroy all tarot cards? Uh... No. <laughs> I, I would like to be able to actually win the run. Thank you. I'm gonna... 
gonna do a little get a little hard pass on that one chat be like mm. no thanks chief also that means i should never play with random relic because if we lose tarot cards the, the game is actually unplayable got a quick run on the spot so just think chat i could just randomly ruin the run <gasps> Also, look how much health I have. So now I have 360 death aura and I'm invincible. Take your head, Chad. Bonk. Bonk. It's not as strong as ice. I think slowing them is a little more useful than invincibility, but it's still really good, obviously. Now, if we had a weapon with this, this would be like the best spell ever. Yeah, they physically cannot damage me. We could try though. So at least if we need to stall, we can wait a little bit and let fervor recharge. Then we can have like a near invincible constant regen moment. That's always fun. Okay, we collected everything in dark wood now. Yeah, let's go towards the clothing shop. I'm sure that'll make Chad happy. Skip the relic. I think we're good. Fly robe design with our gold bars. Let's see what we got. Scholar shirt. An ideal outfit for gazing long gazing longingly in. There you go. No, no, no. Aren't you lamb of the finest taste? Not a sore of fashion. That's all I have for the moment. Give me some time to draw up a few new designs, and I promise you'll be the first to have them. Wow, we are actually busted right now. Why do we have so much health? Can we talk about this chat? Like, look at how much health I picked up. Holy... Well, if I need to wait out a boss, I think we'll be fine. And again, while I'm flashing, I basically have the Super Mario star power. Now, this is what we call broken chat. I mean, do I even bother looking for upgrades? And how do you even upgrade this? Arrow cards make sense to look for. Relics make sense, I guess. But like spell rooms? Need those. Listen, chat, it's not my fault they made this this broken. On the plus side, we're getting a lot of bones back. We might be able to do a revive ritual soon. Ooh, I see another tarot card room. Okay, potentially some things we could get here. Immune to poison? Sure. Just one less way we could be damaged, Chad. I'll just nod my head on that one. Oop, chat contributing to the totem. I appreciate it. Also, let me just know, Chad. I think the cooldown should be off on the contrib contributions. If it's not, let me know. I'll literally just go turn it off. We, we have many sessions to make up for our totems at this point. Hmm. Yeah, this is the spell I was hoping to get from before. I mean, why would I ever replace this? I have literal invincibility and regenerating fervor. Kind of like the most godly combo. Now we're gonna fight Amade Amadeusius, excuse me. So again, I could just do this. I don't think there's any counterplay to this. If he wants to summon more things, this means I have more curse. So I think we could agree, chat, this is the cheesiest way to get infinite kills. As long as we constantly kill his minions, we should just always regenerate fast enough.
As long as we don't get greedy with it, it should just be over. <laughs> just. <laughs> so anyway, chat, I think the no damage challenge, I think we have a, what we'd like to call a, a solution to the no damage challenge. So now if I could if could have refought the, the bosses, it would be over. I think we can agree, chat. What, what a ridiculously unbalanced spell. But hey, I'm glad there's at least one broken spell. And we'll get 50% more bones. Ooh, just win-win. Lots of food. Tons of bones for rituals. So we could probably afford to maybe resurrect somebody. We need to eventually offer somebody to permanently die to one of the doors. Which chat's apparently deciding my fate. Alright, we probably want to drink house eventually so I could get more shots of breeding. This is all I've learned. Give the egg some love. They turn Wolf Fang into a baby? Oh no. Or a kid. Alright, well, babied, I guess. Well, Wolf Fang gets to live basically forever now. Although he still looks old, even though he's a kid. I think that was a design error. Anyway, he's going to be real easy to make into a disciple later. To the nursery you go. Jeez, everybody is just level ups waiting for me. Also, I should probably do something about the body. <laughs> just casually do it in front of everybody. Don't worry about it. He became a dad, then became a baby. <laughs> Yeah, he might outlive his child at this point, which is interesting. Let's see. Now let's fix the beds. Oh, I can only fix on the next tier. That's fair. Let's fix the broken beds. Turn one of these into a super bed. There we go. That should make them happy. Angel, how did you get out of here? I really desperately... Oh, they're back from the missionary stuff. Let's see if they die or not. Zephyr made it back. Say six, six bones. Nice. What do you want, Weber? Can we lure some creatures seeking shelter in our cult while they're sick? Should we let them join? Sure. I don't mind getting new characters, I guess. Is there anybody out there that wanted to just make a random character? Oh no, they're another poet. Oh, maybe I should just kill him. <laughs> oh no, chat. We'll give some opportunity. Poet is unfortunately the worst. I see this as a hydration break. Hopefully, the ping who waits will age up. We'll see though, it might take till next session. I'm willing to play for at least another hour to see if we can get ping to grow up. All right, that's fun. Uh, I kind of like their looks. Let's call them Useless Poet. We get more animal representation here. I don't like Hanajol. They're kind of generic looking. Let's reroll them. Ooh, that's unique. Scaro. What, what is their other ability? Monstful. Okay, there we go. Oh, they also become terrified. Oh, this this might be a character we need to sacrifice later. We can't just have faith drop whenever somebody dies. That's very annoying. Love Steve just going around living his best life there. And we now unlocked Drink House 2. All the sin unlocks are here. I could probably put the beer, the beer house near the babies. Because, you know, that's what a good person would do. Um, bup, 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 Sure. Beers and babies. Put them over here. Confession. Can we level anybody? Oh, Steve isn't quite at max. Get a Steve confession. Classic Steve confession. I'm going to see Egg Ping. There we go. 
So one more sermon should level if he doesn't level from that. Yeah, pretty close. Well, before that happens, let's make sure we sermon everybody. That way everybody gets a little level, and this should level Steve while still leveling everybody else. over there okay we've got extra meat not bad bully Vapnir give him a rank up too while we're at it welcome Yantos hope you're doing well that's right Yantos could probably make a character at some point maybe he could become one of the the baby things uh what do we do with the alehouse exactly I could just generate a lot of sin. Okay. But oh, that's why we did Weber's quest. I guess he's just gonna brew some beers near the babies. Hope you're doing Malientos. Well, Gotta get a character for Yentos. We should be able to get one soonish. Hmm. Also, all of our other structures failed, apparently. Thank you for contributing to the totem. Again, let me know if there's a cooldown on that. It should not exist. At this point. Um. Hmm. I wish I could put it here, but it's like I just barely can't. Whatever. <laughs> the person just passed out in the middle of the floor. Deserve frog food. More booze. You know, baby here, mating hut here, nursery here, and now the tavern. Just a classic combination. Uh, I don't think I really need to consecrate that much. I mean, if we come across the outfit here, I'll do it. So I'll still keep our resources varied in case I need for them for construction. See how this goes. I have not collected food here in a while, so hopefully we get some good seeds here. And deposit. So we're gonna wait for a day to break. I'm gonna do another sermon. And we'll be almost done. So we are almost done with this. Oh, did I even... Oh, I did a lock body bit. That's right. I used it once. Oh, Crypt. We're not gonna use you. Our dead followers are like yo-yos. They just go in and out of death. <laughs> and life, just constantly. It is a vicious cycle and circle. Uh, let's go resurrect somebody, I guess. We'll roll the dice, Chad. How- how bad could it be? <laughs> I'll try it, I guess. Alright, please don't be a zombie. Okay, we should probably revive one of the chat people. So these characters are named characters. Uh, oh, you know what? Dango's been dead for like an eternity. Let's get Dango back. There we go, Dango's back. Please don't be a zombie. I think Dango's good. <laughs> Words you have to say constantly, please don't be a zombie. There we go, we brought Dango back finally. Do a quick little sermon, maybe we'll level somebody. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> Brain, so no. Hmm. Anybody else we can send on a journey to potentially die for the cause? 
Also, why is this one sorted by level, but the other ones aren't? Hmm. I can confuse KFC dying to get bones would be very funny. I'm not gonna lie. Right, Chad? I'm like, just something about it. It would just be like, hmm. We'll do this. Take a meaningless to do mission after being revived. We could, in theory. Oh, old man Promethean. Oh, poor Promethean. I'm gonna intimidate him randomly for no reason. Oh, the one who waits at level two. That's always fun. I'm one who waits. Do you want to have a small gift? Sure. I love our fields are like totally destroyed. Ping who waits is here. Uh oh. I think Ping wants to be the other character. So technically, we could make this Yentos. Because we can rename the character. I guess I'll leave it open. So Yentos, if you want to make a character, you can overwrite the ping who waits. Ping, ping is waiting for the golden egg. There you go. <laughs> oh no, ping to Yentos, exactly. So don't worry, you can rename the hor- you can reform the horrible monstrosity that is the ping who waits. So we'll give Yentos a minute or so. It should still work on the phone, if nothing else. We'll give him some time for that. It's just like, oh no, I gotta make choices. I mean, at least the character's guaranteed to have good stats. So that also works. Yeah, we have Mystic Ping. So Ping is in the game regardless. <laughs> Ping joined as an NPC before he joined as a cultist. Let's see, what else can we do? Guess we'll hand in the totem. We may or may not get another doctrine out of it. Oh, there we go. Let's end the raffle. Yantos has been created. Oh, I can shoot. Oh, can I? Wait, I can overwrite him? I didn't think I was allowed to do that. Whatever. to choose his robes. Do I have any spare robes? I don't. Shame. We need to give him more robes. We'll accept him into the cult. There we go. And Yantos now exists. He joined at level 5, which is kind of funny. Yantos has become an adult. Oh, you know what? Steve is going around leveling people. That's what's happening. So Steve put in the work. Gotta give him that, because I've been seeing people level up randomly. I finally caught the interaction. Not bad, not bad. Can't seem to interact with them here. Well, whenever they finally regrow up, they de they became young again. We should be good there. Yeah, let's go see what the other reward actually was. Really hoping if they had just begin to age up child event, maybe. The ping to Yantos pipeline. Yeah, let's see what we get this time. I did beat the boss very convincingly, I would just like to see. It. Hopefully we get another commandment stone. We did. Okay, good. Hmm. What commandments do I go for? I think law and order is okay. The hard working one's also pretty good. I love how fast they're filling this up. They're just making sure we just instantly level everything. I can't even collect it fast enough. We have three more unlocks to go. And we have everything unlocked. Uh, babies can't be initially raffled, sadly. 
Oh, I told Chris to go back to work. Rip Chris. Hmm. What was what did I want from the commandments? I feel like the sin one is whatever. I mean, eventually we'll do it, but I don't care at the moment. Um Afterlife could be good. Possessions I don't think was good. Try an afterlife one. Maybe we could get the other. Yeah, belief in sacrifice is not a bad one to get. I'm not doing funeral. Funeral is actually a waste. Hi. So now they should care less if I sacrifice people. Not the one I was quite going for, but that's fun. Oh no, everybody is now ill. The drugs were off. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Let's kill the spy. Are they still here? Look at that. We'll even get faith out of it. That's what they get for being a spy. <laughs> there we go. Ping's wish has come true. Goodbye. You're a spy. No one misses you. They weren't even, like, worth a good reward or anything. But we'll take it, I guess. I'll take the faith up, I guess. You, know, you now have enough beds for your followers. What a morbid statement. Uh, let's build more shelters. Let's go for, like, two shared shelters here. Pretty evil influence. There we go. We're working together with the Antos to build more beds. We took too many followers on, I think. We always want to make sure we have more beds than we need in case the bed breaks. So building another set of three here could be huge. Also, everybody's apparently very tired. Oh no, 60. No. Anyway, let's go get these items. Ooh, new reward. Half a blue heart. I don't care about that. <laughs> right, Chad? That, that, that's not relevant. Alright, so I basically am going to tell them to cook as much as they can here. Oh, I don't need to worry about food for a while. Yeah, we're so close. So I just need to make sure all the characters that are currently sick go to sleep. That'd be a really stupid way to lose characters. The downside of brainwashing them. Also, I just... I love that this is just here. Oh, I can choose who gets it. Oh. Um... Oh, Hope Leaf might actually cap here. Is there anybody else that's like close to capping? Just Hope Leaf, huh? That's fine. Oh, I can't give him anything. That's so sad. I can intimidate him for no reason. There we go. Hope Cleave leveling due to the food. Oh, Poro has something he wants us to do. What do you want, Poro? Face is an eyesore, we need beauty. Sure, we'll do that eventually. I'm not in a rush. Alright, so there should be enough food for everybody. All we need to do now is just continue through our journey here. Okay, so it should have saved just then. I saw the autosave icon. So chat, we're gonna see if we can crash the game again. Or maybe not, that actually looks like a good ability. I promise you we'll do it eventually, but if I get one of these... I mean, chat's all. This is clearly like the best ability in the game. Never mind. We're, we're just gonna go beat it real quick, don't mind me. That even solves the issue of just not doing enough damage. What an ability. You know what, for you I'll test it. 
Uh, it didn't crash the game. We're good. Ready, Krisha? Maybe. I did press it. The fact that that also destroys projectiles is insane. I don't know why they thought this was balanced. All of them are already dead. Decrease in size, sure. Oh, thank you, Jubi, to the totem. Thank you, appreciate it. I have a bad relic. It's better than nothing, but not great. Also, we're now mini me. Man, those guns are tanky. Come on, tarot card that boosts damage. I don't think that applies to spells. I could be mistaken. Another card. This chance, sure. Okay, we cured the one who waits by making him eat good food. That worked as intended. Maybe curse is spreading, oh no. Thank you, chat, for contributing to the totem. It should be leveled up now, but you can continue to contribute. This is fine, question mark, oh no. Ludana trying to attend sentience as usual. Hmm. I don't think anybody else is waiting for a character, so it doesn't make sense to go this way. Let's go. Maybe get shots. Chat loves outfits, so we should might as well go this way and buy another one. Which reminds me, I need to tell them to make more gold bars when we get back. So what can we potentially dress up Yentos and hang in? Genteel jacket. A handsome jacket for high class. Or for looking high class. There we go. That seems like a paying thing. Yeah, yeah. You gotta drop designs. Okay, so we got more silk thread for later. I have to be careful because I'm not regenerating fervor for later. We still don't have all the follower forms here. <laughs> that is... That is a way to make a unicorn, I guess. Just put a giant blade in its head. Or, or it's a very bloody horn, one of the above. I'll take the free gift. Oh, you bounce off the cat if you roll into it. Kind of funny. Oh dear, oh no. Which chat's deciding my fate? Oh no. Divine inspiration unlocked though, that's always fun. I mean, I'm gonna try to save this relic until I find a better one, or just use it in the boss room to speed things up. At least we're getting random fish to go towards the meals for people. Like the eyeball flowers. Good touch. <laughs> okay, they actually stood no chance for real. Spawn to die. Might be able to get yet another card. Interesting. <gasps> Chat. Curse damage. Someone. That is a huge pickup for us. That is huge. Yeah, now we're one-shotting. That makes a big difference in survivability. Perfect. That fixed everything in the run. Uh, we have a lot of optional rooms to go back and explore. We found the exit. I mean, there's no way I'm giving up the AoE, I'm sorry. The other- the other thing literally has to give me invincibility. It's the only way I would even possibly consider getting rid of this at this point. And now with the damage 1.5... Outcome not look- <laughs> Outcome not look so good on the boss. Okay, we'll take more healing flowers. So I could use the healing bay next time we get mass sick. Which again is something you can grow outside of this area. Wait, did that injure me? 
when it oh, maybe that did injure me just then. I don't remember having half a heart. That's kind of annoying. It looked like it flicked something at me just then. Oh well. Let's leave. I can still get a flawless on the boss potentially. But disappointing we took damage. Presumably. Let's do this. Nice and easy. Any possible upgrades here? Divine Blast is good. Could be better than the poison version. This makes spamming it a bit more awkward. Hmm. I go back to the other one actually. Not bad is normally kind of fun with other weapons, but I think in this scenario, I just need to be able to chain the hits. If I can't chain the hits, it's kind of over. I don't think there's any cards I want anymore. And I could reveal the map, but it doesn't really do anything for us. Yeah, so we see where the boss is. But there's no other paths to really take, so that's fun. Yeah, that poison damage. Better than the knockback for sure. Poor enemies. They tried though. Okay, let's see what's in the bonus room. How horribly unfair, right, Chad? Such a good combination. We have so many bones. We now have enough followers where I don't need to worry about unlocking anything else. So now if I want to send people on missionary missions all the time... Because just think, Chad, if I put two followers out on the missionary thing when we had it earlier... I would not have been able to fight the final boss, which would have been really awkward. Boy, this would be a lot better if I had more meter. Oh. Kinda tricky. Yeah, sadly our relic is a little underwhelming. Damn, I wish I had more fervor. And now I'm just playing the waiting game mostly. Oh, I took damage. Oh well. Yeah, this boss is not a good matchup for spell users. I have nothing to really regen fervor on. So I just kind of ran out of steam halfway through. Awkward. At least I could tag him with the orbits to maybe speed it up a little. At least if we take damage, I think I could get forever back. But yeah, let's just let's just take damage on purpose now. It doesn't matter anymore. That'll make the fight go faster. There we go. Unfortunate, Chad. If that was one that oh sin, it's actually a perfect collection for us. Go back to the call. Let's see if the ping to be has leveled or not. So yeah, if that had been a mini boss that spawned monsters, I think we would have been fine. But without it, mm, a little awkward. You saw even with the curse damage, that was like what, 40 casts? A lot of meter you gotta wait on. Now let's see what Twitch chat gave me. Hopefully not a follower, I'd prefer meat or the chat bonuses. Well, that's perfect then. So two more unlocks to go. Not bad. Ooh, so having the variety of food there is actually good.
Ooh, I think the egg's about to hatch. Oh no, Ping is a horrible monstrosity. That that is something. The the Ping who wait is here. Fashionable, don't starve. <laughs> I was gonna say somehow worse than the other one. The Ping Bombination is real. We'll give Ping love. At least he starts the cult basically at level 4. Yeah, we've seen it takes a few days, so hopefully not too much longer. Go to the nursery, no escape. I almost thought we soft block there for a second, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sacrifice breed fodder, probably. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure anybody that isn't max just gets a little boost here. But I think most of our cold is now at least level 7, which is nice. <laughs> you can sacrifice him at the door, oh that's funny. We might end up doing that, we'll see. But on the plus side... We only have one more unlock, and then I think they just start straight up making money for us. Yeah, look how fast they're restoring it. Uh, before it becomes nighttime, I'm just gonna do a quick sermon. Again, we'll slightly level everybody. I think Steve's been doing a good job bringing up loyalty, because I saw him, like, just straight up level four people so far today. Alright, so now that we have all this, we need to make sure that they're working on more gold bars. Jack can have their pretty outfits. More of these, definitely more of these. Grapes, why not? Oh, why did starving cultists keep walking around while dying? That sucks. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, well. I mean, I was gonna possibly sacrifice starving cultists to the door, so he just dodged death in a different way, to be honest with you. Like, Vafer might be sacrificed to the door, to be honest with you. I don't have any attachment to the character. Starving Cult is starved to death. Almost. There's somebody we don't care about at all. Probably Vafer, to be honest. Mm. We'd sacrifice Ping right now if we wanted to. Um. Sorry, Vafer. I don't think you're, you matter at all. You're gonna die anyway. Might as well just go out with a bang. I'm never reviving you. You're on the board on the day 69. Nice. Sorry, Vapor. Oh, look at that, chat. We unlocked a new door. It's casual murder of people. Don't worry about it. I mean, there is, there is like, literal 0% chance I was ever going to revive them. Alright. Let's go to the door. Oh, I need to build decorations. Uh, what decorations do I feel like doing? Ooh. Oh, I like the ominous bone one. How much does that cost? Two bones. Oops. God, I need to press this, then the other button. Door. Let's have our... Let's have our children friendly bone pile. To remind them where they're going. Yeah, let's see if we could go ahead and get another unlock here. The chance of unlocking tarot cards. Still prefer the commandment stones since we're pretty early in. Okay, we got. The Dark Star one, which I don't remember what it does offhand. Where to gain one must give, no known effect, knowledge is off game through sacrifice. Does that just make their sacrifice rewards better? 
I don't remember caring about that at all. Hmm. So we're nearly there. Let's see, who is not leveled yet? Ooh, Draculina. Poor Draculina, about to kick the bucket. But hey, we'll level them up. <laughs> Revolution, apparently, from Draculina. So, hey. We revive them later. Level 8 is a perfect level up for a demon. I believe they were our explodey demon from before. Okay, we, we made Poro believe in us. And I guess we could give Poro... Um, we have so many options now. I guess we'll pet Poro. Almost. Almost got us there. Okay, we'll make sure Ping is more cared for this time. Look at that, he's already level 5. He's higher level than most of the people we just acquired. Does that make sense? Yento's happily working on the farm over there. Can I tell how Cleave to go drink? I can. Let's go witness the effect. Also, I noticed our structures are kind of failing over there. Should probably get a couple more. Don't have any stone upgrades. That should keep a busy. I think this is now our final unlock. There we go. I think that is 100% completed. Now I think we just get money if we complete it. Kind of nice. Let's witness what Hellcleave is doing before we go further. Oh, Hellcleave feeling sick. Oh, he's become... Let's absolve Hellcleave of sin. There we go. We can make more children. We can speak to Hellcleave. We're gonna send to bed. We, we lost faith because I put him in bed while he was drunk. There you go. Take that as you will. Social commentary. Faith destroyed. Is there anything else I need to do here before we go on? Oh, I can do another sermon. Okay, so we'll do another sermon, collect the rewards, very slightly level people, and then... Should hopefully get one more character in the call. So on the plus side, it looks like everybody's been leveling. We got a little extra coin there. So nobody's sick, good. How are we doing on food? Cultists looking okay. Apparently make more of these. We'll save that for later. Mer apparently make a lot of cauliflower dishes, so we might as well do it. I'll collect the bars in case I need it for later. Ooh, that even gifted me gold bars there. How kind of chat. Wow, next level up is at a thousand something. You can tell it's just going to be money related now. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, why can't I... Why can't I use the warp? Huh? What? What? Why can't I warp anywhere? Hello? That... That normally happened? Oh. Oh. I should not... Well... Should I do the boss like this? I don't think I should. Let's let's leave the challenge mode for the boss. I feel like if we get a bad item... Well... I guess we'll see. If it's a bad item, I'll just leave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should be able to teleport. I just lost my ability to teleport. Yeah, let's see what we get. Ooh, not bad. Alright, we got something to at least get us through a little bit.
We have a lot of bones, so I could start spamming revive once we unlock the other area. I'm hoping we get a better spell before we get to the end, but we'll see. Oh, Promethean died? Yeah, we definitely need to go back and revive soon. Unfortunate. Come on, good card. I mean, the poison's okay. I'm mostly looking for, like, bonus damage or... Two better chests. I'll sacrifice some of our gold. Uh, I probably want Fervor when hit for later. So if I do start taking damage, I at least have an out versus the boss. That's not bad. Not my preferred one, but I'll take it. That was a resilient cultist. Just dodging me, staying at the fringe of the room. Get out of here. Well, this thing has, like, claw hitbox noted. It doesn't make any sense. Another tarot card. Ooh, 20% chance of negating damage. Well, one in five chance we don't lose the no damage challenge, yeah. That's always fun. It's on the plus side. We're getting a really good amount of coins. Uh, ooh, there's a relic shop, but then there's also the clothes store. I feel like chat would be mad if I didn't go to the clothes store. Relics are nice, but not required. Yeah, let's see what we could get for chat. Now that is a look, you're welcome. What do we get? Nightshirt, a moody ensemble, perfect for lurking. There you go. Hmm. I'm just gonna go this way. I think our food totals are actually fine right now. Get a here lurking, pretty much. Oh, hello. And be what a night for wonder. The air seems different. Pop and me, we're just taking a break from dice for the night. Look back to Rado soon. It's a good rat, Rado. Took me and Bop in when we had nowhere to go. That's why he's a great leader, loved by all. You are too, of course. I was trying to kill him there, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, got another tarot card. An extra health? No, I don't care about health. We only care about damage here, chat. Another rare chest. What do we get this time? There we go. Damage increase. That's huge. This run is pretty much free. Kind of. But the boss is going to take forever to kill. That is kind of a downside. We If we get the invincibility version of this, then it's actually free. But I feel like if, if we don't have ice... Or if we don't have invincibility, we're just not going to do enough damage to the boss. It's going to be like a five minute slugfest. It's going to be unfortunate. The rooms here, however, are going to be free. That I would agree with. They can't do anything already. Uh, chance of the good relic. I'm going to powerful. Oh, yeah, I've been bringing demons with me. Oops. I probably should have brought demons for this challenge. Well, at least now we have some backup damage. Oh. Okay, now it's free. <laughs> right, chat? Wait a minute. Never mind. We're good. 
We even have a demon for extra damage. Didn't even start the run with it, but here we are. Alright, so now we can camp, and at least we have guaranteed damage with the, uh, the bow demon. There you go. Ping wished it into existence. All praise the almighty Ping, apparently. There's, now there's nothing any room can do to damage me. I literally start each room immortal. And the damage is good, because we got a damage multiplier. I mean, I'll go to the here. I'm not going to buy another tarot card, but we'll see what we can get here. Um, sure, if they somehow hit me, they get the diseased heart. Why not? Okay, so just in case this is an event room, we'll recharge a little meter. Nope. That was their only chance to hit me. It's over. On the plus side, if the boss spawns a lot of minions... Why would I ever replace what we have, right chat? You're out of your mind. I don't know if the stage hazard still damages you or not while we're invincible. I'm assuming not, but... I'm gonna new curse with an increased level. No. We we cannot afford to get rid of this. <laughs> like this is like the best damaging ability with the best AOE with the highest damage. There's no way I'm replacing this for a random curse. You give us something stupid like charge shot or something. Alright, well the no damage run is about to occur, I guess. So if we gotta refight the boss, it is definitely going to happen. Again, even if it didn't refill me here, it should be fine. Yeah, it didn't refill me. So I'm just gonna roll. Alright, we're, we're gonna pop these and then we're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until mid max. No sense in rushing this at all, chat. <laughs> right? Why why make a mistake here when you could just be invincible? So it takes about, what, two seconds in order for us to get meter back, but we have two, second, two seconds of invincibility every cast. So not looking good for the boss here. Time to put an end to this frivolous mess grade. Time to put an end. End this. Oh, don't worry. You're about to be ended, right, chat? We'll let the boss grow up. I could skip the animation, but they look different this time. Okay, so we have a decent amount of fervor. I sadly ran out though. Guess I was a little too quick on the draw. Got to potentially get a lot more back here though. Yeah, if we can hit the boss and these enemies at once, we should be fun for a while. Boss is cooperating at least. There we go. Oh, I love cheese. <laughs> I was gonna say, that was cheesy. Holy. Cheese Supreme chat. GG, outplayed. I will definitely take that. Took a little while, but we got double gods here, which would be funny if it duplicated due to the 50% bonus. That would actually be insane. What a combo. Oh, 
Why can't I leave? Oh, I, I'm sorry. There's a third god tier. Excuse me. Excuse me. Good call, Ping. Look at all this nonsense we just gained. Oh, it didn't increase. So yeah, we did. We did actually not take any damage that entire run. That's something. Well, we found the auto win. Uh, <laughs> we found the auto win one. Shepherd of Souls, Gundam now into the after. So they may not lose their way. Well, I would say regardless of what difficulty you're on. Well, I guess maybe at highest difficulty it doesn't work as well, but man oh man, anything other than that. Ooh, let's see if they spontaneously die or not, chat. Get over, try and save for missionary work, got bones. Let's see, is KFC gonna die? Oh no, they worked. We have a lot of ritual fodder now. Now the question is, can we upgrade our missionary to get other resources now? Also rip Promethean. Okay, we'll just work on leveling whoever's here. My grown, I'm not sure. I think it's desperate to see the upgrade. I don't know if it'll happen. It takes a long time in this game. Because we didn't get any child speed ups like last time. Looks like Wolf Fang is somewhere. I'll have to go find him. There we go. Ping's level 6. Chris is walking around doing something. Hmm. He's supposed to try to talk to me. I just want him to go to sleep. Oh, he's talking about people. Go to sleep. Hmm. Hey, where is Wolf? Oh, there's Wolf Fang. Did somebody release him? I'll be a grown up soon, so I'm not going to the nursery. Well, that answers that question. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize I could tell people to go drink. That's kind of funny. Oh no, Chris is drinking. He's giving in to sin, chat. Chris is befuddled. There we go. We'll let Chris live his best life. Hmm. Let's tell them to make more meals. Should suffice. More gold bars for sure. Again, we should have like all the masonry work we will ever need. I guess I'll receive the bonus so they can pray here later. 10% increased damage. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do a sermon before it becomes night. Although I think I'm slightly too late, sadly. I'll try to go for it still. The fixed faith and just slightly level people again. That was apparently a very good decision for leveling people, if nothing else. So I could have people work at night again. Alright, let's go see if we get anything fun from the uh, god tiers. We can open up another area. Tell me, godly one, do you crave more? Of course you do. Rope God is satisfied with what merely is. As you've seen with the bishops, there is a state that exists betwixt the layers of this world. Purgatory, some may call it. Oh, maybe that's where we fight the bosses when they move. Enter once daily, while its mortal time stagnates. The blasphemous souls of purgatory may be expiated for as long as you wish, or survive. Time will stand still in this world. Your followers will need nothing of you while you venture there. Should more god tears find their way to you. Well, Mystic Ping awaits. 
fine. So we can enter Purgatory, which we didn't do last time at all. So I think we we're just focusing on completing the side quests. Let's hope we get another Commandment Stone. I kind of don't want a necklace. That's unfortunate, but we'll take it. I really don't think I need any more of these, but that's fine. There we go, that's good. Hmm. I could get the uh, I could try to get one of the other sin ones to see if we could get a sin leader one. That's the only one that I really want. Bottom left one I think is the one that we want necklace wise, but sadly we're gonna get something else other than that. I think that's the one that makes you immortal, which we want to give to all of our best characters. Also, we need to figure out who to sacrifice to some of these doors. Level 10 follower. Level 7. Is there anybody here that would qualify that's not a super character? Witness Astaroth. It's too low level. We could send Witness Astaroth to his death. Yeah, we could try to get more breeds, but the problem is it requires sin and we just don't have enough of it. Maybe what we could do is... Level people up with this. Try to get for more sin growth. All three sponsors of the... So I could just have people eat another follower if I want to. Let's do Red of Lust. It's a very ping thing. Who our favorite dancer will receive sin. There we go. Could try to go for a revive here. We are missing some cultists. Then I could see if they're. Oh, I think the temple upgrades are not important. Promethean's been dead for a while. Diego died. Oh, do we actually have most of the people revived? Let's get remote battery back. Please don't be a zombie. Okay, good. Okay, we dodged the zombie bullet there. Yeah, I don't care about that. Let's do another sermon. There we go. We finally got most of the Twitch chat alive. It took a while. We got there. I guess I did that technically in the wrong order, but that's fine. I love him just leaving, like, an important character there. I'm like, nah, it's fine. <laughs> right, Chad, just... Eh. <laughs> Whatever. I don't have to deal with them right now. I don't feel like them disturbing our little pattern here. Rest up in Parameter. Hopefully you get some good sleep tonight. I almost thought Yentos was the one cooking. Like, man, gonna be no food left at this raid. Nurture ping again. Yeah, it does seem pretty easy to get people to level 7, so we could sacrifice a baby. We want to. We're gonna just total evil route if we need to. Um. Honestly. Oh, let's. We could get rid of Witness Astaroth. He's, he's gonna die anyway, Chad. I'm not reviving him. He did his job. He's technically one of the characters we originally created. That's fine. Okay, to the door he goes, chat. And now I can revive with impunity. Yay! Look at that. We raise them just so they die. Sorry, Witness. So now we have three of the dungeons unlocked. Getting for somebody to level 10 is kind of annoying. We're gonna have to abuse the knuckle bone strategy, I think, to get somebody there. 
We can also see what Purgatory is like. We have not seen that at all in a playthrough. Surprise Wolf Fang is still not grown up. Ping refuses to age. Every one of these has a 75% chance. Although it's interesting, it gives you different ingredients to get people drunk, I guess. Use KFC, go to sleep. Are we finally gonna see what this looks like, level though? Just a little shy, that's so sad. Come on, you can do it, guys. Hope Josie's scared. Pretty sure. Level up Josie a bit more. Nicely done. Aw, oh, it gives God tears here. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll eventually cap. So let's do that, and then I'll get a demon to go with us and see how things go. I recall Leshi, prior to yourself, he was the last to bargain with. Depth as he was, he rose quickly to the challenges of godhood, aided by his siblings. Many were drawn to his chaotic ways. <laughs> we're just leaving him there. We're not even recruiting him yet. Don't need to. Or is that the one that makes you invincible? That might be the one that makes you immortal. I take that back. The other one might just be the nighttime necklace. Alright, so I could pass another doctrine. Um... Law and Order, I think I can have somebody collect money if I want to. I think we got the best one from the... Work Order. Oh, it's still on cooldown. That's awkward. Uh, any other rituals worth doing while we're here? I mean, I could make them toil day and night. Really a downside to that. We have so many bones, I might as well as do it. We'll lose faith, but then we could always rebuild it with our many, many options. Hmm. Use a follower to generate. So we could get more sin now if I need to, so we might as well just do it. Uh, give it to East, maybe? See what this does. I don't think we've used these yet. Well, that's violent. Well, I guess that's one way to get more children, question mark. <laughs> Make everybody stand in a circle and stab yourselves. We need more children. Uh, let's see. I'd let them destroy the place. I have any disciples I want to make yet. Or can I? Can I? Somebody qualify? There's somebody in church chat that's there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Steven Chris. We'll give it... Well, I love how Chris is 82, but younger than Steve. I don't know how that works, but sure. You know what, Chris? It's overdue. You got denied by being eaten by a zombie earlier in the game. It's about time. Disciple Chris is born. Hmm. Anything else worth doing? Could marry a follower. Sure, we'll give everybody food so they're not hungry. Okay, we'll save our other bones for later. Anything contributing to the totem? Appreciate it. How is Wolf Fang not aged still? This is crazy. 
He said he's ready to do it. It's been like two game days. Hopefully he's not glitched. He's so sad. Hope Draculina died. Awkward. Don't mind me just gonna harvest. Hmm. Is there something else I could do here? No, everything is still kind of on cooldown. You know what? I'll, I'll burn 12 bones in order to fix faith. That's kind of the downside right now. We have a lot of people that are scared of death. Those are the characters I'd really prefer not to bring back, because they'll just tank our faith constantly, which really sucks. Because right now, our characters don't really get impacted much by that. Okay, more gold bars for sure. Alright, who can we bring with us to go deeper? One who waits is more starting health. Weber is free damage, which if we're going the spell route, that might close the gap for us. Probably Hellcleave with the bow. Oh, a Poro guy with the bomb. It's always fun. Yeah, we went basically a really strictly offensive build with us. Hate boost this Chris, oh no. AB Ping is still refusing to grow up. One day. Oh, yeah, just sold my keyboard. That makes more sense. Well, let's see what Purgatory is. Buy all the dungeons and bosses in a single crusade. Oh. Do you have to beat it per fleece? Uh. <laughs> they want to grow up because they're Toys R Us kids? Oh no. Yeah, we never bothered with Purgatory. I guess I'll at least do the normal one today. Gun and Invincibility? What a combo. Okay. Interestingly, the Godly Weapon gives us more bullets. Yeah, I wish the gun destroyed other bullets. Then it would be amazing. God tier fragments acquired. Okay, we just really need damage or something. Perverse co or curse cost less. That's a good start. Critical hit, definitely needed. Sadly, it looks like it got rid of our demons. But I guess that's fine. Yeah, when it makes that sound effect, we can hear that it crit. I guess we'll eventually get enough god tier fragments. It doesn't seem like we get any other items. Maybe that's all it gives. We can't farm resources here. Just being a big troll. Hopefully you're doing well, Yentos. Waking up to the chaos of the day. Guess this is mushroom area. gone much worse. Okay, I prefer a different weapon. Turn a random enemy into a critter, that's fine. That is okay with me.
Ooh, reflect projectile there. Really important when you have gun, because you don't really have other ways to deal with it other than just timing really tight rolls. Um... Honestly, Godly Dagger? I think I'm gonna take it. Because it lets me finally use knife the way it's meant to be used, which is constant spam. That dash strike is something. That's kind of fun with Dagger. I don't like the rest of Dagger's moveset, but that's kind of fun. Are we going to reach the bosses at some point, or... Going to go through each area before the bosses? I mean, on the plus side, I don't have a doubt that I'm going to clear it. We actually have a pretty good combo. Tier fragments. Okay, we might be able to get damage up here, which would be huge. Uh, twice as much fervor is good. Now, if we if we also had recharging fervor, that would break us. So if we could get the same build we got with the other thing, it'd be good. So I purposely did not unlock a lot of cards, so we should be favored to get good drops. through eventually. Yeah, with double fervor gain, at least we should have a lot of invincibility in a boss fight. Mostly just looking for something like really crazy. Yeah, like well-balanced blade. Mm -mm. We're not looking for, we're not looking for balance, right chat? Wave your finger. We're not interested in balance. We went only the best at this point. There we go. So that's basically free invincibility. Yeah, you can see how much damage we can do there. Much better than what our other spells were doing. But the risk is, when we do a long combo, we might leave ourselves open. But on the plus side, the odds of clearing the dungeon are pretty much 100%. So, not like 100% guaranteed all no damage. It's close, but I should be able to get there pretty well. I mostly just need forever recharge. That put me in a really good spot. Welcome, Doozy. Hope you're doing well. The little Soten backdash cancels here, but with the normal strike of the game. Excellent. That's a really strong gun, but... I'll stick with what we got. Freeze is also nice, but I don't think it's better than invincibility here. The extra hard. Alright, so I guess we're now at the boss? Question mark? Oh, I got tagged by the minion, really? That's so unfortunate. Well, rip, no damage. So close. Yeah, this boss is not gonna be able to do anything. Oh, we even got the crit. Damn, tagged once that whole run. So sad.
Oh, is that it? We don't do all the, we don't do all the bosses. It's just defeat a heretic. Interesting. Okay. So I guess this is how you were intended to get them, because we never did this in our other playthrough. So that does speed up the unlock significantly. Oops, I go and be out the door. He's not gonna like that. Do not act to the fool chat. Well, I guess we can just add those in as we go and play throughout, I suppose. Really prefer not to get the thing it just gave us. I actually don't even want the tarot card. I just specifically want the top option, the bottom left or the bottom right, and basically nothing else. Let's see what happens. On. We have like a three and five of getting something nice. <laughs> well, we try. There, there was a, an attempt was made, chat. We could have had something nice. Said we're completing our extra outfits, I guess. I don't really need our current outfits. Really powerful. Ooh, it gave me... I didn't realize that I could substitute out of follower forms. I mean, we need this eventually. That's fine. Apparently that's DLC. Or, you know. Damn, chat. Total whiff. Poor Leshy waiting to become somebody. Hmm. Anything else I need to do before going further? Can I revive? Has it been enough time? I don't think so, because time doesn't pass in the other place. It's remembered. Well, I guess what I'll do is... Go to the other location. Go to this location. Let's go to Anora. We'll, we'll do it in difficulty order. Nope. It's going to take a while, thing, sadly. As I said before, you're not even going to be an adult probably for, like, another game day. You skipped, like, the three or five day wait into the three or five day wait. Also, not a fan of these choices, but we'll take it, I guess. I have eternal youth. I think so. That makes them fight each other. That's actually somewhat useful. <laughs> Although, design tip I would recommend for Call of the Lamb, please put the targeting indicator above objects so you can see the thing that has a timing thing. Right? Like, because you need to hit that portion to get the 360. Oh, I took damage. Rip run, I guess. But hope you're doing well, TZ. There we go. We got there eventually. So it looks like our damage kind of fell off a cliff. I think Chat can agree. This area has not been very kind to us. Uh, sure, I'll reveal the whole map. Not that it really matters. Oh, actually, we did. it does matter. We saw a secret room that I missed. Do you have to, like, hit this repeatedly to get to it? we have to hit that thing or, or interact with it or can we not do it without a weapon the 
Maybe I can't activate it without a weapon? Because last time we hit one of these things... Or I think we hit this with a AoE before. And that opened up the way, but I don't see anything else we can interact with to get to the secret room. Mm. Oh well. Also, I'm gonna let my meter charge more. Now, V, if you trap me, if you insist, I shall suffer. Sure, we'll insist. Okay, at least our demons are kind of hard carrying here, because we gotta let ourselves recharge for a bit. Yeah, th this is the hard demon carry, where we just confuse slash charm and just hope we do enough damage with our other abilities. Not bad. I mean, I'm getting a little better at the timing. It's crazy I still ran out of meter, though, with how well I was clearing that room. But oh well. Such is life, I suppose. Let's see if we can get an upgrade in this room. Or at least more resources. More mushrooms, which we don't need. It's fine. We'll continue onwards. that random statue. Okay, that's a good relic. I like just full screen deathing everything near me. Come on, damage up. It's not quite damage up. Uh, let's see. I'll do it for chat. The, I, I will probably find more use getting food in the other option. Let's get more outfits for chat. We have 70 gold bars. We might as well as make some outfits later. Wired evening frock. A frock for the evening. Yeah, there we go. We did it for chat. <laughs> Does not benefit the run whatsoever, but we'll get more unlocks. Aw, oh, Focalar died. Speaking of which, when we if, if we revive Focalar later, Chad, we are we are probably gonna perma sacrifice him. Oh no, remote battery was scared. I saw it. Remote battery two feared death. Fine, I'll take the devotion. You happy game? There we go. So we could see the exit and we could see some kind of mystery thing down here. So let's go to the mystery thing first. Might help with our clears. I'm so happy we brought demons with us. Chat thanks me. Really just need like curse damage up. Something. We just need just like a little oomph to our build. That is exactly what I was looking for. Okay. Ask and you shall receive, apparently. See, chat, this is why I'm happy we did not buy extra cards. It makes like these gimmick runs where you only have spells and no weapons so much easier. I don't have to worry about getting like melee damage up or something with all the melee boosts. Nice, we managed to charge our relic, which we could partially recharge by destroying objects here. As well as build it up a little. Wow, that's with the damage boost, we're still not one-shotting. That's unfortunate. Relics almost recharge, which is good. Our 
Relic is fully recharged. Nice. Now if we need to do any brute force clearing, we might as well just pop it here. Fine. Worth it. And we could rebuild a lot of the meter here just by destroying those. You can see the bottom left, it's already up to yellow. Now it's back up to blue, despite having just used it. That's why it's kind of nice to smash things. Just get a little more meter back. Um... I don't think I want any of those. Well... Actually, it depends. Which one is this one? Oh, this is the one where those do a lot... Well... Maybe that'll help. It, the initial attack is pretty weak, but the ghosts are actually useful. Whereas I don't super care about charm damage. Like, we can't see it there because there's no targets. So it's going to make room clear a little more awkward, but... We do something like this. It should just hit everybody. It should mean less overall spells needed to kill. Oh, I took damage there. My bad. So it's still not our preferred spell, but I'll take it. It also means I could just aim randomly in the room and kill everything. Break as many of these as possible. Put some relic meter back. I'm sadly not going to get the no damage win no matter what, because I did take damage again. But on the plus side, at least we could bully these enemies full screen and not need to worry about anything. Prefer a different school. Maybe? I'll try this briefly. If nothing else, I want this for a relic clear. I'm gonna say no to this room. Nope. If nothing else, this is insanely good at getting our relic speed or our re relic recovery to full. Speaking of which. Goodbye. So basically at max meter, which is nice. Get a chance to replace our relic. I cannot afford to take a blessed relic. I think if it's random, one of the random ones is it gets rid of all your cards, and without any cards, the run is no longer doable, so no. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm gonna go with the... Uh, nope. Hard no on that one. That part of the second is here. Actually, I should have waited just a little bit longer. I mean, if he wants the stall, this is fine. Alright, we ran out of fervor, which really sucks, so I gotta wait. Oh, he hit me just as he died. That's so unlucky. The fervor gain, it let us down, chat. So close, almost had a flawless on him. Cheated by not enough meter. So sad. Yeah, I definitely felt like uh, we did not have a great combo coming into the room, but that's fine. Oh well, we tried. It's just lasting that last little bit when you're just completely out of meter. It feels terrible. Man, can you imagine if that was freeze? Oh, that was freeze. Invincibility obviously broken, but man, if that was freeze, that would have been so free. Let's get these. 
I should probably deal with the dead body. Don't mind me. For some reason, that made everybody sad. I wonder why. Uh, can I revive somebody? I can. Okay, let's revive into fixing their faith. Let's see who we could bring back from the dead. Who has been dead for a while? Rackalina died recently. Wait, I can bring back the spy? Why would I do that? Okay, I think... Oh, the original remote battery is still dead. Oops, I think I revived the wrong one. Probably bring back the original remote battery. The remote battery, the second remote battery, the first are now together again. Do a sermon to fix the faith. Keep us out of the red, mostly. Yeah, that's good. Basil Bob, yeah. Also, we should probably recruit the other characters at some point. Did you want to make a character, by the way, Doozy? We almost have these characters at level 10. Hope I think we'll think which is finally going to grow up. That took a while. Sure, let's do it. Okay. There we go. Back in here again. Like how he's still an overwhelmed parent despite being a kid. Does anything get rid of that? Unavailable. Child is almost an adult. Ping is getting close. King who waits is finally free. We'll give Ping more love. Look at that. Straight to level 8. Damn. He's ahead of most of the people that have been here for a while. I was a parent as a child. I'd be overwhelmed too. That's fair. Also, it's really weird that... Uh, I think I mentioned that last time, but gathering the souls there is a different button compared to everything else. Find that odd. Also, I should probably tell them to uh, get more farms, maybe. That way they're a bit more efficient here. Oh, goodbye, my spare resources. I didn't think about that until just now. Hmm. Let's get them one more farm. Just to aid with this a little bit more. Alright, so let's get Doozy a character. Also, I just realized our faith is terrible right now. Oh, Cowboy died. No, we were just about to fix our faith. Okay, when in doubt, just drug him. Just drug him, chat. Listen, emergency. Emergency. Faith went to like zero because one person died. Oh, and Parameter immediately dissented. Look, he put the rebel hood on. Parameter mad. Well, I tried. I tried to prevent that from happening. I was so close. But unfortunately, we have a dissenter. Well. Actually, let's just get another character for Doozy. We have enough money. I don't care if the thing costs double at this point. But that's fine. Okay, potential Doozy future character. into the portal. So Doozy, you should be able to remake the character. I just want to make sure we get Lushy in the cult since we're here. They've been waiting for a while. What is this darkness, chat? I cannot see. Where's my crown? Lamb, damned lamb, I know you're there. I smell you. What has become of us? They have, against sacrifice, sickly. I guess I'll accept him to the cult as is. They are a pretty terrible character, not gonna lie. Um, 10 farms, whatever. Alright, so we now have a future Doozy character. The Doozy will be able to completely rewrite them. Doozy has cynical, zealous, and hot-tempered. 
There we go. Leshy, Leshy is terrible, I know. I mean, Leshy was just like actual trash tier character. You would think those characters would come guaranteed with these abilities. Dizzy says that's way too close to home, oh no. Give Doozy some time to make it. Leshy more like lousy, damn. Hard truth though. Maybe it's because he's blind or just bad RNG. I don't know, but those stats were super, super terrible to the point I'm not even going to revive them. I mean, they're against sacrifice. That's already bad enough, but then they are sick longer. Ugh. The only one worse is if they have, like, reaction to death. We'll give Doozy some time to make the character. So fortunately, if he's on phone or mobile, or, or web browser, you should be able to do it. So we'll give Doozy some time to figure out how he wants to represent himself. I'm on phone, what do I have to do? I think as long as you just access it, it should be something you touch on the screen. There should be a little pop-up app. Chat can maybe walk him through a little bit. I have the least experience with the phone version. I'm assuming it works on Twitch app. Otherwise, you might have to do the browser. I'm not sure. Tim Finger saying it might at least minus five, at least offset if you have something posting sacrifice. Uh, it's still pretty terrible. Yeah, no worries, Doozy. It's just, you literally just touch something on the screen. It should, there should be a little pop-up. I could try to look up myself real quick. So I have not seen what the new thing is. I'm going to log into Twitch on my phone. There's a pop up for it somewhere. On PC, it covers the lower fifth. Yeah. I'm seeing if you end up popping it up with the browser, whether you see it. Okay, so I went into my phone. I went to Twitch via the browser, and I told it to register me as PC, and then it gave me the option. I wonder if that means I could join my own cult. <laughs> I never thought about that before. I guess I technically could, right? I mean, joining your cult has advantages, the chance to grow extra demonic appendages, the honor of dedicating every living second to the cult of the lamb and the glory of the possibility of being sacrificed. You can only join the cult after you've customized your follower. I should do it and then marry myself, maybe. But yeah, I, I I could see it on the if I have the have it open in the browser. What are these icons? Oh, I can see who's in the cult. Yeah. So then once I do that on the left hand side, it looks like there's two little buttons. See, we're getting we're getting real time updates on how to reach it. Yeah, so for me, when I do it on the PC version, I could do it that way. I guess I could test to see what it looks like when I don't use that. It's saying just under the video of the stream, there should be called the lamb icon next to the word chat. I don't know if I see that on the mobile version. Yeah, like if I if I just look at the site, I don't see it. Yeah, I see chat settings, chat, chat scroll. I can see my stream title. I don't see it on there. What happens if I join in the mobile app? We'll give Doozy some time. 
love it trying to autoplay some random video. My favorite. Isn't that your favorite chat? Love the Twitch app. 10 out of 10. Sarcasm, super high. Uh, I don't see it on the Twitch app either. I'm on the browser version on the phone. Yeah, the browser version should work. So it'll have little pop-ups and then on the left side. So like literally where the stream is. There's two buttons. One is just to see who's alive in the cult, and the other is to uh, create your own character. So technically, I could enter my own raffle <laughs> if I really wanted to. I'll consider it in the future, but we'll give Doozy some time. But hey, at least I learned. That would be a first. Join my own cult as myself, then marry myself. <laughs> I'd probably have to have polygamy so I don't get mad that I marry somebody other than myself. I think that's how that works, right, chat? <laughs> just, just make it a complete confusing mess. So let's see. I think other than that, we just need a little, little time passage for Ping's character, but sadly, as I said before, I don't know if it'll happen. He's like on the cusp. I could literally just stand still for two days for ping. But yeah, we'll give Doozy another minute or so. I guess I'll put that on the list of things to do next time. Find a character, make the perfect traits. No, unfortunately, ping while we're on the screen, nobody ages. That's why I'm kind of hoping we'll uh, move along soon. Alright, we'd always come back for Doozy in a minute or so. There's only so long I'm gonna wait, because we are about 10 minutes from end of stream. You should be aging on the Oh, you mean in general. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you're you're close. Grandpa Ping, because he aged down the same day I hatched. Probably. Alright. We're gonna put it on hold for now. Although it's I apparently have to accept them into the cult. Um We'll randomize them a little. There we go. We'll put the doozy stand in. We'll come back. Okay, let's see what Baby Pink is up to. Get that out of the way. Okay, we'll play for a few minutes. I'll at least let a day pass in game, and that'll probably be the last thing we do. I don't really feel up to doing another dungeon because it's getting pretty late. Is there anything else we could do with these? Not really. Useless poet just literally walking in a straight line, going nowhere. It's all for a second, then it disappeared. Yeah, we might be able to still get you another character. If if it is now working, I'll see if we could get Ping's thing out of the way. We'll let a day pass. And then we'll deal with that. I need these characters to go to sleep so they don't die or something silly. Is Poro got tired? I think he is. Also, where was in Parameter? I think a Parameter was the one that was dissenting. No worries, Doozy. I think because I canceled the menu, it stopped the follower thing. Alright, so we're gonna put in Parameter away for now. for some reason is not st oh that's why somebody died oh cowboy was kind of useful all 
Uh, let's put these characters to sleep. We just need one day to pass and hopefully Ping will level up. Ping has been waiting all session for this to happen. I love all the random necklaces. That'll make them worship a little more. I noticed they're kind of using their hello sound when they're talking to each other, but they also use it when talking to you. So I was like, kind of, I, I thought they were trying to communicate with me, and I'm like, oh wait, no they're not. They got me on that one. Let's take care of this now. We have a ton of food. The fact that we're going up in seeds is a good sign. That's taken care of. Future. I'm gonna let time pass. I forget if there's a way to speed up time in this game. I mean, I can. I could do that, but that doesn't speed up time. Let me check real quick, chat. I thought there was. Maybe not. I thought there was something that, like, you zoomed in, and then it, like, made time go faster. Am I misremembering? We haven't done it in the whole playthrough, so it's not something that I normally do. Testing buttons. Oh, there it is. Found it. So if all I want to do is advance time, we could do that. Oh, Kirk is trying to re-educate there. Oh, so more than one person can re-educate. Oh, that's actually important. Alright, where's Ping's character? Oh, also, we need we still need to make sure that we level up people. So I do need them to be level 10 at some point to become disciples. Oh, I see Ping doing whatever Ping wants over here. <laughs> He's like standing right in a way that I can't talk to him. What an actual troll. What is this? There we go. There we go. Twitch hates mobile users, probably. There you go, Ping. You've been waiting for this the whole time. Is now yours, Ping. Oh, somebody is just instantly there. I'm assuming it's you, Ping. I just want to confirm. I'll hit end raffle for you, Ping. I'll be so sad if someone takes this from you. It'll be funny, though. Okay. Ping has become a man. End raffle. There we go. Ping has been waiting forever for this character to grow up. So, Ping, you no longer need food, and you're happy when fashionable. Alright, let's dress Ping up with something. He gets an actual bonus from this. Uh... Uh, let me make for the genteel jacket, maybe. I don't have like a ton of outfits unlocked yet. Merchant shirts, kind of whatever. I need because a golden skull, maybe. Scholar ping. I'll give him the genteel jacket. Assign it to Ping, so he should get the bonus. Wherever he is in this list. There he is. <sighs> Ping loves the new outfit, according to Ping. So Ping should basically be a full-time worshipper here. I was gonna say, I physically can't gather fast enough with how much they're building here. That seems to be in agreement with the genteel jacket at least. Now they're in super worship mode, which is nice. By the way, are we sending anybody to their deaths? Oh, we need to send some people to their deaths. <laughs> I'll hail the cult of Ziggy. 
Um, the rest of people that are named. <laughs> Except for wait, wait, hold on, chat. Wait, unless she could just randomly die. Absolutely. Actually, before we do that, can we get another missionary upgrade just to see if there's a way we could get the specific area resources? I mean, if this is the only way to do it, it's. I I don't love it. But I'll, I'll accept it. Let's see. Because if I could get them to get the other crystals, I still think it's a terrible design, potentially. Especially early on. But my opinion is still not going to change from that, to be honest with you. I just want to see if you get the custom ones. Nope. You know. That also would have been good. Unavailable because elderly. No, no, doozy standing can be sent to his death. Oh, we can send useless poet out? Oh. Sure. Bye, useless poet. Um, I don't think Leshy dying will break anything because I could revive Leshy. Wish I could send KFC out there. Welcome, Kathio. Hope you're doing well. Mm. Could risk some stuff. The one who waits dying on a missionary mission would actually be pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Wish they were just like one level higher so they don't have the penalty. we could send remote battery three we have enough remote batteries For anybody else that's like reasonable to send out without just like game overing what we need to do mm. guess i could send him out worst thing that happens i guess he pays for his own revive There we go, we got a, quite a number of people here. Can we finally do the doctrine? The off cooldown? It is, okay, good. Hmm. How do we wrap this up with the one order after? We can worship again, maybe? Yeah, the glory of construction we don't want. So there, there are several of them we don't want to max it. But we're at the point where this is actually still useful. So I'd rather get this now while we still potentially could use it for something. We have a lot of characters we need to level. Later on, that will be useless. So I guess it's better we get it now to say we at least used it a few times in the playthrough. Get a free sermon, get more XP for everybody. I guess I could have waited to do the missionary stuff after this, but whatever. Are any of these other ones worth unlocking? No, not really. I mean, I could do the challenge one, but... Mm. I just... Yeah... Lisa Furfer's favor is fine. It's just kind of like... I don't really care about heart regen normally, so having the ability to heal in a boss battle is kind of interesting. But... It's just okay. Oh, Deucey's fighting with somebody? Where? Is the game... Is the game gonna tell me, or...? Oh, they're like in the building that I can't see. Yeah, I will say it should probably... Oh, they actually cured the dissension. That's convenient. So I guess we finally saw the power of the disciples. That saved us several days of doing that. So I guess the question with the characters at this point is... Do we bother... Upgrading certain items, or do we just go straight for 
I guess we don't really need any more cult upgrades from the stones. I guess I could just go for maybe the sin ones just to defeat them. I think for the most part we don't need to worry about their different abilities either. The only ones where I need to kind of use something is probably this. Also, there are just way too many actions here. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, see, all, we have all these characters that are like level 5. We need them to be much higher level. <laughs> I feel almost overwhelmed at how many menus there are now, I'm not gonna lie. Right. Inspired all of them. If we missed anybody here, that's fine. I love how it's just like inspire, 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 inspire. An intimidate ping. <laughs> give him a little spook. Let's give him a necklace for now. Let's say better devotion. Ooh, is he gonna level again? Nice. Ping already almost on his way to being a disciple, despite just existing recently. Now at this point we just need the skull necklaces. Yeah, we'll try to fix Josie's character trait so that they become more useful. Nice, just fixed it. Huge. I don't think I need anything else here for now. I was gonna say, they're such high level that they're just kind of auto-converting things, which I find kind of funny. Also, are we going to be allowed to teleport again at some point, or is it just forever gone for us? Alright, I think what we can do then, let's complete one thing of Purgatory, and then I'm going to sleep after this. Oh, I didn't realize there's a gaunt. Oh, that makes more sense. Interesting. So now that I beat the other one, we have more options opened in general. So I can choose to do the boss rush one. Uh... I guess we could try this, but then it's just kind of fishing for RNG. So we've already gotten this one, so we'd have to play with the others to get the other abilities. I guess then I'll just keep it simple and just do the fleece on the dungeon run. Hopefully it doesn't give us a bad spell. That makes more sense. I just wasn't paying attention to DY. Ooh. Chad, I'm not gonna lie, those were not good spell choices. Is this even doable? Alright, we need like a new spell immediately. We had like two single targets, more or less. And it doesn't even one shot. Ooh. Painful. Yeah, this is this is kind of like the worst possible start. Can we really not have had any other spells? Yikes. Well, we're gonna hope we get literally anything. Just like literally anything is an upgrade. Triple shot. The hounds. The AoE obviously is preferred. I'll even take the sword swing. Uh, sure. I'll gain extra health randomly while getting kills. I doubt I'll take that much damage. Wow, it's not even, like, piercing multiple objects. Big yikes.
Is it really just hitting walls? There we go. We're gonna get there eventually. At least I guess if I power it up, it's a little better, but it's like so much effort for just barely being on par with any other spell. Not really a vote of confidence for me on that one chat. We're really gonna hope that I get literally anything that's AoE, because I don't know what I'm gonna do if we have to keep doing this with this ability. It's like if I get the perfect strike, it's okay. Definitely need these. Please give me something else. I can't I can't afford to pick that up, because if it gives me the random tarot card one, we lose. As much as I want that. One where it sacks all your tarot cards is kind of a problem. I doubt that they thought about removing that when you go to select it. Please give me a new spell. Wow, I got the Icker more than once? Wow, that's... That's that's something, chat. Oh boy. At least this one is good distance. Bad luck game wants me to lose. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Like, borderline unplayable. Man, okay, bad cards too. We want curse damage up. Like, first and foremost, just curse damage up. Fervor when struck is okay on bosses so that we're not there for like 30 years. Not ideal going for the challenges, but we'll do it if we have to. I have no idea how I was going to clear that room if we didn't have AoE, I'm be real with you. <laughs> it just would have been, like, actual suffering trying to do that. So, like, I can do a boss like this. It's not my preferred weapon. It's, like, three or four from being the best. It at least deals with projectiles. But we'd really prefer that it has some other attribute on it, at minimum. So, you know, at least we can deal with some projectiles like that. Not a great relic. It's... It's pretty bad. It's not the worst. So we'll use it, but we can't use it until we either A, find another relic, or B, reach the boss room. Out there eventually. <sighs> Enemy that rapidly moves, not great to deal with with this. Get some curse, flesh fervor. Ooh, you can already see our damage is just. Kinda terrible. What was that, like four swings? Holy. Unkillable. Actually unkillable. Game, please. Alright, we really need to find a better spell and or... Hard that boost damage. Telescope is not good enough. Let's go this way. Oh, no. You gave me these? Hmm. <laughs> chat, chat. Oh, well. Okay. 
Well, that, that is that is a much better selection of spells. Freeze, my favorite ability on random ability things. And then this nonsense. So I'm going to take this nonsense, because there's no reason for me to not take this nonsense. Retribution, yeah. Sadly, I think it took damage, so I don't think it could be a no damage run. Bicycle disaster! We can't just sit here and do this, though. Do we get practice stalling the invincibility for longer? Maybe, maybe we'll count our Mississippis. We'll go like one Mississippi, two Mississippi press. So if we do that, we should regain fervor at a decent rate and just maintain invincibility at all times. But obviously if there's multiple enemies, you just spam it. So we now have what we need to complete the challenge. We should get a lot of god tiers, which hopefully will result in us getting invincibility. Yeah, what a, what a marked improvement over the other spell. Utility, cheese, everything, chat. Let ourselves recover more fervor. Look at that stalling. Brutal. <laughs> we're, we're just learning to cast it with more delay so we recover more fervor. That's all this is, practice. Is it like three seconds of invincibility? I feel like it lasts way longer than it states. We're gonna say one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. All right, so right at the end of three. Maybe it's one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. And then when I say thrit, that's when I do it. Mississippi, two Mississippi, thrit. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, thrit. Yeah. All right, so that, that's about the timing. It's not quite three seconds from when I press it, but it's pretty close. So we took damage, but we learned something. So we can still flawless victory in the boss. Uh, well, to be fair, freeze on death squall is actually really good, but no. <laughs> All right, chat, as long as we count, this should be free. Let's count together, chat. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. 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 One Mississippi, two Mississippi. I'm out of meter. All right, that's fine. He's gonna summon more people. For the best. We need more meter. Yeah. Sadly, the eyes don't really do that much damage ping. That's why I'm not really caring about them. We'll take the poison damage, though, I guess. Oh, I took damage. My bad. Like, had to scratch my eye. Yeah, like, it's just really lame. It does really low damage. Pretty much unimpactful. But anyway, now that I already failed the challenge, I might as well just do this. Oh well. Still got the god tier though. So sad. Also, I noticed, chat, when we went into that boss chamber, did you like that it didn't restore my meter, by the way, chat? If you're wondering what happened there. I feel like that shouldn't happen. If you have the thing that you get meter every time you enter a room, it probably should give it to you on a boss room. We entered that room at four instead of seven. That was kind of unfortunate. So we learned two things today. One, it doesn't restore for some reason in boss chambers. And then two, we can basically count to basically three. And that's good enough. We'll keep that in mind for our invincible runs. Alright, it's about time. We need a lot more commandment stones. Yeah, I saw they were inspired by the Crusade, so interestingly, we might be able to use Purgatory. Was oh, that the necklace I've been looking for? 
Oh no, it's the other one. Never mind. Disappointment. I don't think I care about the sacrificial ones. I guess if we really need to kill somebody, we'll do it, but it's we're kind of late in the game for that to matter. No matter what it gives us, like we don't need any resources at this point. We only care about the god tiers. Okay, so let's go take care of that. Like this as much as possible to get maybe one more. Or I'm not going to sleep for some reason. I'm gonna go to sleep. So close. I'll give him a little more time. Okay, what are we getting in our next crusade according to the game? Extra health, that's... That's not relevant to our playthrough, <laughs> right chat? That, that was only relevant maybe briefly during the final boss. Never again. Never, ever, ever going to be relevant again. Is the cooldown off? Not quite. We'll wait a little bit. We'll wait for the cooldown chat and that'll be the final thing that I do. I don't plan on doing another dungeon. I would prefer to get another god tier, but we'll see what happens. So we should have it now. Give the doozy stand in an item. Ah. Or faster devotion. Ah. Okay, let's see. Will we get the thing that I'm looking for? Which is invincibility slash immortality for our followers. So if Ping gets if Ping gets the golden one that's there, he no longer eats or ages. Oh, denied. Well, thank you for sticking around, Chris. We'll be wrapping up here. We have like a million fragment stones, but we just need time to pass. I guess the work all day thing we're all. Hmm. You know what? We're like a sliver from bringing people back. We're gonna wait just like two seconds. Hopefully enough time. Yeah, it was. Just like, we're close enough. So we should be able to revive basic of everybody from Twitch chat now. Mathian's been dead a little bit. Diego died recent-ish. Let's bring Diego back. And we'll work on the others. Hopefully he doesn't come back as a zombie. Like he didn't. That's a good sign. <laughs> um. Hopefully Law and Order. I want a murder follower, honestly. If we have more spies, I think I just want to off them. Like how it's like you disturbed everybody at night, but I'm like it's too it's too bad. They're all faith locked, it doesn't matter. So can I just not teleport until we're further in the post game? Like, I still can't use this, by the way. Guess we'll see next time we load up if it works. So sad. Yeah, we have enough stations that they should be busy for a while. The only thing I might want to do to set up, because I'll probably forget to do it, let's make sure there's more things for them to work at. Because eventually they're going to cap the main area. I don't really want to worry about that. I feel like how murder is just there. Th that'll be a fun one to accidentally select on somebody. Like, hi, I'd like to inspire you with death. Okay, I got a level up out of that. We level Dientos. Uh, who is not at level 10? Ooh. Ooh, actually, we could get Ping all the way there. Wow, Ping, 
Ping just cheating. He just made his character. He's barely been around like 30 minutes. Max level. Unfair. Child advantage. It's real. Instant max level. So we make Ping a disciple, I guess. We have enough bones. I got nothing better to do. Let's fire the doozy sand in while I'm here. Put a little level up here. Hmm. Alright, so they're gonna do that. I am devout. Let's get a ritual going. We are using up a lot of our bones, but that's fine. We're gonna go on another run next time we play. Let's go ahead and just get... Steve's been waiting a while to get Ping out of the way. There you go. Ping got promoted. He's on the fast track. So now we should be able to deal with dissenters way easier since we have four people potentially just converting them. Hmm. Don't need to do anything here. It, it really wants me to get the resurrection one and I'm like, I kind of don't. Except today, remember most of that is child shot straight to the top, pretty much. We'll slightly level everybody. Not bad. Oh, I actually did get low on gold bars. Interesting. These for later. thing that I want to do. I guess I could challenge one character to Knuckle Bones. Normally we do, we end the stream by doing a Knuckle Bones. Let's get JJ Persona up there. Apparently his difficulty is max. Apparently. Oh. Does max just mean he rolls nothing but sixes? Oh, okay, you roll terrible. There, we're good. Oh, speaking of roll terrible, can I roll a little higher than a three, please? Like a juicy six there. Wow. Or a uh, big old whopping nothing. I guess it's fine. Wow. That is actually abysmal. There we go. Big point swing. Ping is indeed the chosen one. Wow, this is sad. Our numbers are so terrible. Me, please roll a little better. <laughs> I don't think at any point since I've started I've been in the lead. This is painful. I can get rid of double fives here at least. Chrissy gets double six. Gotta be kidding me. Brutal, chat. Brutal how bad we're rolling right now. It's just horrendous. I can't win like this. Even if I clear my slots, I still don't win. This is insane. Can I please roll a six? Thank you. Holy. That would have been instant game over if I didn't roll that, by the way. I need to roll a three here or I lose. Oh, he actually rolled. Oh, okay, that's fine. That also works. All right, now I think we're locked in to win. No matter what he does here, it doesn't matter. I'll take away his points because I'm just looking to close the game. Or he'll troll by stalling. That also works, I guess. Okay. Two more dice and we win. <laughs> Three more dice and we win. Okay, this is fine. Or he rolls double sixes and that's a problem. Uh, I can roll double fives here. That's not bad. We, we just want to end it before he high rolls, essentially. Okay, there we go. Barely won. <laughs> Considering how many times he rolled six, he should have just won outright compared to us. Is there anybody else that needed to hit to level 10? Is there a, is there a minion we needed to have offed? We could kill not a spy some point. Although they're both gonna die of old age soon. 
You know what? Let's level health leave. That'll be the final thing we do. Oh, I think his name is so long it wraps around. Poor health leave. Just, are they just always going to start with a six against me? Is that what's happening? Okay. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. I don't even know what to say. In a game where you have to match the dice and they roll nothing but high numbers, what do you do? I am going to roll a six at some point, right? I I'm going to roll a six at some point, right? <laughs> this is so unfair. <laughs> okay, well, at least I got 20 points there. Could be worse. Oh, well, that's worse. Chat, where, where's my six? Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Am I gonna lose because I can't roll a six? Oh no, chat, are we gonna have to start finding out the statistical odds of me not rolling a six? This is insane. I'm going to lose because I cannot roll a six. I actually lost. I couldn't roll a six. What was that? Almost nine dice in a row, no sixes? Holy. <laughs> wow. Wow, chat. I don't know what to say on that one. Fortunately, we have another chance, I guess. It's like, how do you... <laughs> it, it, there's a certain line where it no longer becomes a game of skill versus luck. Okay, finally, I rolled a six. Thank you. Holy. They're not even playing well. It's just like, if you only roll low numbers, what do you even do? I guess I'll stack my twos here. He wants, then I can save a four for later. Let's put a five over here. Oh, of course. Uh, let's get rid of his fours. It's not ideal that I close the left side, but we need to make some progress on this board. I need to roll a five in order to win. Okay, that's good. He's now really far behind, and I just have points on the board. I don't know why he didn't get rid of my six there, but I am going to punish him for that. It's like night and day, the game that is happening here. <laughs> like, what happens when you're allowed to roll the number? You just win. Yeah, I'll just take away his points at this point. I don't care about making pairs or anything. It's already over. Oh, uh, he chose to let me win. He could have put it on the left-hand side to stall me. And if he had rolled a five, he actually would have been fine. A two, four, or five would have let him continue playing. Oh well, AI bad. There we go. I think that is officially a chat. We're going to save once I collect this so I don't have to do this next time. Let's talk about how we feel today's session went. Well, I think we could say this is the most broken the game has been. We had two crashes. We had features not working. So definitely, I don't know what they updated. I don't know if it was just to remove the, uh, the special event. Maybe that's what that patch was. But yeah, that was the first time we've seen a crash. Let alone having multiple crashes back to back like that. Kind of insane. But hey, it is what it is. Maybe one day the game will be perfected. I might have to go touch my review up to talk about that yes, we did crash. Since we did write a review, and by we I mean me, the royal we was used. Thanks for streaming and humoring me and my maniacal aspirations. Always happy to help me. But I think for now, it's getting late, so I appreciate everybody that stopped by. And with that, I'm going to say, I guess, goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again next time.